Is this still the city of love? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Andy thinks the sub. Flex your acting muscles and give us Andy Elvis blam. Um, blam. I'm sorry, I'm... Can I do that again? Thanks. Morning, everybody. Morning. Morning, folks. Hello to all the early birds. Early bird eats the... Early bird eats the... One says, Fart Lord Cometh. I don't know what I've done to break the code for the spotlight thing. I don't know. I don't know what I've done. We'll have to look at it um, later. I'm going to work on this a bit more and see what different things I can do with this. Thinking about maybe, you know, some are kind of bigger than others and some... I don't know, I kind of like the twinkly, I like the twinkly aspect to it. Uh, right, it's kind of, uh, I, I was thinking about doing kind of snow, like things, you know, so the letters are all separate, sort of come down vertical words, but it wouldn't work. I mean, it would technically work, but it would just be sort of, maybe the, the text bigger for long term, no, 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 no. Uh, I think of something. Just some, sometimes you see like a wee text animation type of thing on the tele, an advert for a program or something. Um, the way the text sort of moves about, and you get a wee idea. But I don't know if that would work for that. I mean, technically it would work. I don't know if it'd be any good. It'd just be like it's better to just have it all kind of random. I was looking at how to make things blurry, text blurry, but I don't think that would work either. Kind of might be all right. Like you make text blurry by you do a kind of what was it called? Uh, a shadow on it, but then you actually remove the text itself, so the white, the shadow is white, and you, you can sort of blur the shadow, so it looks like the text is blurry, but it's not really. Maybe I don't know if you can animate that, but that's just like just sort of like. Might be alright, you know, it sort of like goes into the background, but it wouldn't look right. It'd look like it's sort of gone to the background, but the perspective wouldn't be right. You don't want to make it look like you're trying to make it look like it's actually meant to be here. Maybe he's care, anyway. Maybe he's care. Maybe he's notice. Grenade O'Connor, Massive Sam. 16 months for Zaddy, thanks. Thanks for subs, most thanks to 300 bits. Get in, enjoy your COVID, get your feet up. Get your feet up. You're very welcome. You're going to have a, everybody's going to have a fantastic, shite 80s Christmas special today. Yes. Goose for Scythe. Glad you love the early starts. Crozy. Little Rock Laura. John Avocado. Thanks for the subs. I'm reading all these messages, by the way. MOT and Urbanity, any good bribe ideas? Um, well, like, they would say, your thingy's fucked, your thingy's fucked, that needs replaced, it's dangerous, it shouldn't be on the road. And you go like that, listen, here's a wee, here's a wee bit of money. Let's just say it's all, it's good enough. That kind of thing. This could kill you, the people in your motor, and maybe other people. Fifty quid says otherwise. That kind of thing. Let me maybe put on Twitch alert. Says Lilac Studio. Mhm. Mm hmm. What? Okay. 
okay, I'll put on Twitch alert. Twitch alert is now activated. That you started streaming. What are you on about? What are you talking about? Mike and Stuart are Braxis thanks to subs. It's going to be an amazing fucking week. Can you say good evening, Cara, as we number watch your voice at evening, uh, watch live, freak room, uh, here. Oh, I hear Cara. Good evening. Cara, yes, you. So, what, what's uh, an alert? I got a, an alert that you were. W H E R E live because you've done H instead of W E R E live now looks like live where live that you where live what an alert telling you where I'll fucking live um, Lilac Studio that gets sent out by Twitch automatically you talk about the kind of alert on your phone that type of thing that's a, that's a Twitch thing remember to stick your notifications on everybody if you just happen to have stumbled in or it's Discord or twi uh, Twitter. Put notifications. Put a wee bell on to let to be informed via the app or the browser. Walton says, "Leave Lilac alone." Aye, let's do that, Waltons. Let's leave Lilac alone. Let's not correct anything. Just if anybody says anything that isn't wrong, uh, that isn't right, that is wrong. Just don't don't correct it. Just just go at him. Uh huh. That's right. And then they go and tell other people because they've not been corrected. And then we'll let the place just... So just a big mudslide. A big mudslide into a big fucking puddle of shite. That's what's happened. That's why we're in the mess we're in. I'm happy to be the bad guy. I'm happy to be the, the bad guy. Happy. Happy to be the bad guy because I know I'm, I know I'm doing the right thing. I'm happy to help people even though they don't know they're being helped. I'm happy to do that because I love people so much that I love them despite them being despicable and undeserving of my love, undeserving of everything good. You know, I was watching uh, Attack of the Clones last night again. Daniel's, it's the first time Daniel's watched it. And the bit where Anakin uh, goes fucking daft at the, um, what are they called? The uh, Tuscan Raiders or whatever. And I think many people watching that. Ah, of course it's fucking dreadful. Um, I'd have I wouldn't have stopped here I was thinking say after what happened to, to his mom or the rest of it uh, I wouldn't have stopped with just the Death Star just blowing up one fucking planet I would have killed every last person in this whole fuck, the whole fucking galaxy I wouldn't have stopped I wouldn't have stopped I wouldn't have paused. I wouldn't have paused. I wouldn't have just stood there like that, my arms folded, looking at fucking, looking at a window. Every my waking fucking moment to go into sleep. Does Darth, Darth Vader sleep? One thing that Star Wars has failed today is truly explain the dark side of the force feels like why it's so why it's so um, uh, what's the word not, not just tempting but kind of um, alluring enticing not appealing um, I seductive and and what it feels like why when you get it or you, whatever it is you then don't want to stop or 
Uh, what does it? What does it feel like? You could say no by not explaining that's better because and you use you, you use their imagination. It's just you know strike me down and you know what like you know when um, the emperor is sent to uh, in Return of the Jedi he sent to look you know complete your training or you know you will be mine once you do that. It's just never explained how. Well, because if he does that, that then it, it'll become bad. But are you seriously trying to tell me that I'm meant to be sitting here watching Return of the Jedi and thinking that Luke Skywalker is so close to turning to the dark side and going, okay, I'll be your uh, apprentice? Are we really meant to think... Well, we really meant to think that. It just... Doesn't make any sense. Just doesn't make any sense. Pure nice guy, constantly nice. Disney like the Emperor. Disney like Darth Vader. Well, that's his. Um, it's just. Maple Mason thinks the sub. What time? What time is it? Let's get let's get the fucking bet all ready to rock and roll. Let's get the bet starting right on half past. It's not by the way, see that fucking Um right, hold on. See Ugh no mind what I talk about. See, I see that little and large one, the Christmas special that I didn't play. The one that had the kind of racist sort of doll costume kind of thing. It's even worse than what you think. I watched about it. He puts on a fucking like a kind of Jamaican fucking accent type of thing, uh, Eddie Large. You know, that kind of racist sort of character that uh, Jim Davidson had, kind of like saying Chalky or something, his name's Chalky, or would say Chalky or something, he says Chalky and does that. And that was, um, I don't know what that would have been. We watched 81, so that was maybe the year after, the year before. That's the sort of stuff I grew up with. The salt thinks it's sub. But we're gonna we're gonna see what fucking happens. Three to one Christmas special, maybe, maybe another one I watch because I kinda of fucking hear the thing. I kinda of, I kinda of make it out. You badge, thank you very fucking much. Thanks for the creative juice and what's been a bit of a dry creative year. You're very fucking thank you very much. Can I have a shout out for the salt, please? The salt who um has done tons of uh, illustration versions of my improv stories. For fun. Jamie, Pixel Pro, Shrew Mac, Small Noodle, thanks for subs. Thank you very much. It's going straight to Bobby. That's a promise. And you and you's, uh, and you's know you can lie. And you've discovered that yet. DB thinks the sub. Chameleon thinks the subs. These Christmas telly streams are getting me right in the mood for it. Aye, let's really ruin Christmas. But watch, keep watching these fucking Christmas specials. They're fucking awful. Chancer Dancer, uh, Fiddy thinks the subs in bits. Two medieval soldiers walk into a hotel and ask the receptionist, hello, can I have a room for two nights, please? Have a good stream, mate. Brilliant. I like that have a good stream, mate, but the kind of like, you're, you're stepping out of the joke at the end. You know, kind of, that kind of thing. Can I have a, a room for two nights, please? Have a good stream, mate. Kestrel, Cholesterol, Mighty Fuse, and Tegi, Acorn Electron, thinks the subs. The Bolly Burgers on the spot, da 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 
Is this still the city? The bet is on. The bet is on. The bet is on. Okay, I don't care. I don't care about the rules. If I do care about the rules, I want to know what the rules are so I know what to break. Reminds me of, uh, Re I, I thought about Anakin Skywalker and, um, or Hayden Christensen and uh, Attack of the Clones. Quite like um, uh, Billy Idol, isn't it? Actually qu looks quite like Billy Idol, some of the faces he does. Same mouth, same same lips. I remembered it because I, I, I was thinking about how much I rebel him, and then rebel yell, and then Billy Idol, and then that. I thought he was uh, really good in that. He really did get a fucking hard time. But how else are you meant to say lines like... From my... What is it he says? From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Or something. Whatever it was. I hate sand. I can't remember him saying it. Actually, I can't remember what's so bad about that. And uh, I got there, there's some other film. I was watching a wee bit of The Big Shot. Uh, yes, I've seen it before, but I was watching a wee bit yesterday. Uh, Hayden Christensen was in some sort of film about some kind of scandal. Went to some sort of um, con thing or high schools are off today here. Shattered glass, right? I, I heard these might be good than that. Odyssey, thank you very much, Doug the Moleman and Afer Grand Prix. Thanks for subs. Glad you like to Skyrim days. Good old um, what's his name? Uh, Malborn Malborn had to go Scott Chegg thinks it's sub Yep, another day of dragging my devoted viewers through the 80s telly Christmas telly nightmare Thank you very much uh, Enjoy the sub courtesy of my mum's Prime account Appreciated She wouldn't know it's a Disney matter No, no extra expense one notice and dang good. You and more. We'll just be getting a feeling just there. A kind of disturbance in the force in a good way. Going, I did something good. Don't know what. Don't know how. She'll she'll feel it. She'll know. I helped somebody today. And Teggy thinks it's here too. By the way. See Pope and Wayne. Novelty mascot. Errands. Thanks to subs. Thank you very much. Don't miss anybody ever. Let us fucking go. It's the bet. The bet's off. That's it. Right, let's just go. One. Let's go. Let's go. Let me sound cloud. Surprise, surprise. Da, 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 da. Uh, what can I put on it's a bit long? Oh, I've, I've got... I've got, I've got, um, I've got Christmassy things. Right, I'll play, I'll play this one. It's no, right, what's, what's the Jingle Bells one? There it is, there it is. Right, I've got it. Right, here we go. Here we go now. Mark Kent and GB thinks the subs. Do you put cheese in your French onion soup? I don't make it, so... Sway. 
I'll see that again. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Change my mic. Some could change my mic sense. That's a bit better, I think. That's a bit better. My ears are fucking ringing. I don't know if it's because I wear both for walks, my earphones in. I don't even have the music up that loud, but. My ears are fucked. They've been fucked for years. They've been fucked since day one. Really? Larry Schlug. Thanks for some. Hello, Limerick. I have been there. Stab City, they said. <laughs> Stab City, tell that gun fake. Let's go all look good. Limerick, Stab City, get yourself to fuck. No, 10.30. Get broadcast headphones for soon. I don't like headphones. I don't like the feeling. I don't like something on my head. I fucking hate it. I hate the feeling of something on my head like that. I used to be alright with it, but I just I don't fucking like it. I don't like something covering my ears like that. I prefer, I prefer these. These are fine, it's just the day we... I, I try to keep everything volume-wise as low as I can. Have ringing ears. Yeah, my ears have been ringing for decades. But they get particularly bad, you know. If I, actually, it was because of the big fucking headphones I had, I had to turn up kind of loud. They... I can't remember what they're called, but... I just, I just try and have the uh, have things as low as possible. The volume down as low as possible. That's a seven there. That's a seven there. It's it is into seventy eight. Okay. Congrats to everybody who who predicted that. You just win yourself some channel points. So Leah, it's spaghetti man thinks the subs. Too tired to make a shit joke. I just chill it, just relax. You've done you've done amazingly well. Bum Goblin 69 Congrats Yes Chance Man missed a streak in a bowling alley Congrats Man missed a streak in a bowling alley Is this still the city of love? This improv story is based on the idea a man missed a strike in a bowling alley. Let the story commence. Craig had said to his colleagues, I'm real looking forward to this works night out, this Christmas night out, because I'm pretty good at bowling. Oh, oh you just got to show off. No, but the thing is, I'm no, I don't go bowling. So don't worry, I, I, I want credit where credit's due. Don't think... Oh, well, you've got the unfair advantage, you go bowling. I don't, I'm just good at it. I'm looking forward to it. And they all went to the bowling. And he, uh, he was doing no bad, but there was somebody else in his work who was doing really well, John. And they were kind of neck and neck. And John went, here, I'm, I'm doing no bad, considering I'm up against a, you know, a bowler. Guy actually does this. I never do, I never did this. Near the are, that's what I was saying earlier, said Craig. I'm just any time I've done the only time I ever go bowling is, is things like this. And John went, I, I, I don't I don't never do it either. And Craig said, No, near that. The only time I ever go bowling is just like things like this. John said, You said that. Craig went, I know a bit I seem to have to repeat it. And Mary stepped in and went like, oh, alright, you two. I don't think it was a good idea to have gone to the pub before this place. This two are at each other's throats already. And Craig went, no, I'm just, just, and John went, I will just. In order to win, 
this is a kind of like match point in a way, sort of, in bowling way, in bowling terms. It's, it's, it's complicated how it works. You, you're going to get it. But Craig needed a strike. And he, and he went like that. And John, John he just, he's ready to date, and John went like that. <coughs> and Craig stopped, and he went like, John, don't. Don't, come on. It's merely a laugh if we take it seriously. Right, come on. It'll be merely a laugh if we take it seriously. And John went, I don't know what you're on about. And Mary went like that, right, come on. Mary, was it? Was they just the three of them? There was like about 15 of them. But Mary kept fucking stepping in. Hold on. What's... Oh, some sort of argument here happening here. I'll have to point the mic this way. Sorry, everybody. Um... And Craig went to do it again. And he did it, but uh, he fucked it up because he thought John would uh, would cough again. But John didn't. But, you know, Craig was just ready. To, see, Craig was ready to do it, right? And he was ready to kind of stop because he was waiting for John to do it. But John didn't do it, so he kind of carried on. But he'd sort of broken his flow a wee bit because he helped... You know, he just pictured John ready to cough and he didn't. So he was like, it was like kind of like that. Fuck it. It didn't even get halfway towards the fucking pins. Uh, what have you called them? Pins. Right into the fucking uh, thing. Gutter, whatever it's called. Right into the, the, the gutter. And what really irritated Craig was that John didn't celebrate. John just got up, went, "Oh, that's not, that's not too good," and then, and then John didn't get a strike, but John didn't even need a strike. And then Craig was wanting some kind of, like a bad winner sort of reaction for John because that's the sort of thing that Craig liked, you know, ha 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 like that. But John was just like, just kind of turned around went like that. That's that. That's what he said, that's that. And some people said, well done, well done. Uh, so what we doing? Some people were talking. So what we doing? Are we, are we staying in here? Or what time's the meal? Because we're going to go to the bowling and then we're going to go for like a kind of meal. This is just like, a, they went, went to a pub for like about three drinks. Bowling and then... Like, meal, and then that's where they were going to stay until they fucking left or went to a club or something. And, it, you know, they just started talking about that, and, and Craig was like, fucking gutted. So he went up to John. Well, like, John, what, what, what ball were you using? Well, I don't know. Uh, multiple different different ones, I think. You've got a kind of weight that you like, or a particular what one was it? What are you going to check it? Do you think of um I said, I'd used one of the boys here. Check I brought he's saying, Mary, he's saying that I've, I've I'm not saying anything. Craig went, I'm not saying anything. He's saying that I've brought like some sort of like loaded dice sort of thing. And Craig went, no, I didn't. Oh, let it go, said Mary. I know I just wanted to see what the weight of the ball, you know, the, the size of the fingers, see what is it. What you got? What you said? I'm cheating. Let it go. That's right, Mary. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. And Craig went. I just want to see, you know, what I'm doing. Like if I, I, I liked the day. I liked. I liked it so. I liked winning. Oh, good. Just celebrating. Good. I want to see if I, you know, I should get a bigger kind of ball, or. Something and John went like, you need you do need bigger boys. You want to take me on? You do need bigger boys. And Mary laughed and said, "Oh, John, shut up! Right, come on, let's go." And and Craig went like that. <laughs> you know, as they were walking away, he was just kind of stoning there like that. <laughs> and he had all these sorts of thoughts going through his head. Look.
any bit like that here, John. Take a look at this. Is this your ball here? Everybody, John's been cheating. Oh, come on, let it go. John has been, he's actually been cheating. Look. And John went like, what's this? John, come here, tell me what that is. What's that then? And he looked. John went, what is it? You know where the ball's come out? Right there. And John looked in. And Craig grabbed him and shoved his head down in, into the hole where the boss come out. And then while holding him down, he managed to grab a bowling ball and roll it down the the, the alley, or whatever you call it, the the, the, the lane, or whatever it is. Um so that the ball you know goes down at the end and then comes back up. He's holding him like that. And everybody's like, what are you doing, Mary? He's like, let, let, let him go. You're hurting him. No, this is funny. And it's holding him in the hole, you know, where the, the ball comes out once it's you know, sort of made its way back up. And it came up and hit John right in the nose. Um, didn't break his nose, but it's sore as fuck. Big fucking ball like that. Rubble, like that. Didn't break it, but like, fucking, if, if it happened to you, it would be like a flash of light. Horrible. Uh, and John fucking pulled his head at home like that. What are you fucking doing? Like that. What are you doing? Mm. Nosebleed. And Craig fucking swung from crack. And John swung for uh, Craig, cracked him in the jaw. The end. Slice of life. Slice of life story. We we'll stop. We we'll just stop right there. The story just ends there. Slice of life. That's a true story. No, how I know. I ran that bowling alley. That was mine. I had that that bowling alley fifteen years ago. And see, after that, I sold that footage on the dark web. And I shut the place down, then I have to work again. See the money I made for selling that video, that footage on the dark web? I had to work again, never have to work again, man. Some sick, sick people out there. Sick people out there. Sold it in the dark web. That's a three. Will the next card be higher, lower, or the same? Ace is high. Gamble your China points right fucking there. Is this still the city of love? In case you just tuned in and you're wondering what's in store for the day, we're going to watch another fucking 80s Christmas special. Pish. Another 80s Christmas special, lot of absolute pish and shite. Saradan and a Freaky Spider like since the subs. Hey, let me idea for GTA where you have to look after a baby and raise it. Choose to take on missions and depending on how you raise it, will de determine its skill set. Then you eventually play the game with the grown up baby. Sounds good. I don't actually work at uh, Rockstar. But I'll see, I'll try and pass on, you just you just gave away an idea for free. You gave away your idea for free. None of these things can work unless there's a person presenting an idea. You just gave it away for free. Saint thinks the sub. Love all the way from Kuwait. To the oldest man alive. Thank you very much. Hello, Kuwait. Obfuscated and casual yogurt. Thanks for subs. Uh, I see a lot of streamers who will talk about how they watch your Twitch. No, you don't. No, you don't. Casual yogurt. That's a lie. Are there any streamers that you would watch in your free time? 
Oh, if I did, if I had free time, I watch uh, Ten Thirty, and it, uh, you know, if anybody I've ready to sort of make, make pop in, like I go for lunch. Well, I don't go for lunch. I get I get my lunch and then, um, I, I go right. What well, wonder what's happening? And I pop in for like a few minutes. Or anybody else that's on night, I was asked to watch night because I'm playing Dead by Daylight and I like to look at the fucking monitor to see where he is, to see where, you know, if anybody's near him getting unhooked or whatever. <coughs> that's higher. It is near two. It is the same. Bog standard. But, uh, no, I, I, I just, it's not really about free time. I do have, uh, I do have free time here and there but it's just kind of um, I don't really like see, see if I've got the time to just sit there for like a prolonged period of time watching a stream something else pops in my mind but I've got something else to get on me you know like um, I could be making something or I could be playing something like I could be playing a game right now or I could be uh, making a wee Right now, I'm kind of into the, you know, all, all this sort of things I could do with all this sort of on for oh, saving the films, too sporadic, bum bum. Like, what things I could do with that? Like, I can't, I can't sit there. I've been able to sit there for like an hour, like this. Like that. I just not got a lot of uh, time, so the time that I've not got, I go a good. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that for like doing this or doing that. I like I like doing things and blast hobnob thinks a sub. But they pop into streams and pop it, pop in, pop it, pop in, pop it. Could I get a famous lemme yeehaw, yeehaw. He's a wee second, sorry. Hold on. Prediction. What will it be? A three, two, one. Gamble your channel points right fucking now. Is this still the city of love? Gamble your channel points right now, and while that's happening, I'll do my hurdles. I don't know what's going on with this hurdle, fl hurdle flip. I don't know why I always look. I would have got that. I've got a feeling. No. 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 Boring. Nope. Shit day for bet, so it depends how you bet. It depends. EFC Matt thinks a sub. What's your opinion on John Oliver, Corden V2? I don't think he's uh, Corden V2. Uh, congrats to Get Back Digs on your VIP, which should be automatically re uh, redeemed there, uh, uh, delivered to your door there. Congratulations on your million channel points VIP. Warren Zevon, Zevon, and a city toad. Bliss, Wozlai, thanks for subs. Praying for Santa to leave your big chalky dog shit on your stocking this year. Fucking thanks to tier two. It works. I've just, I've just missed it a whole fucking. No. Grindhouse arcade. Thanks for the bits. What are the earphones you have to look very comfortable? Um, I can't remember. Some shake for arms in the cold ear monitors. This whole kind of style where it covers the ear up a bit more. The whole the whole thinking is that um, my my hearing is sort of gone a wee bit. My hearing was getting a wee bit affected by how loud I have to had to have my earphones on. And then Joe GSX, can I have a shout out for Joe GSX, please? Um, said that he's got ear monitors that kind of cover the ear better, so um, it blocks out the sound a wee bit better. And so you don't have to have them as loud. I don't know how having something here 
blocks out the sound when that's the fucking hole there, but I don't know, maybe it just sort of fills in any wee gaps so it can sort of get in. Uh, ask how much, quite cheap, I don't know, uh, 20 quid or something, or 15 or 25 or fuck knows. Just some cheap shite, not, nothing like 50, 100, nothing like that, 300. Just that kind of... Um, that kind of thing. That kind of thing. Chris, unregistered splotch. Blue meth, thanks for the subs. I'm reading all these messages. 80s equals greatest decade. It's a good decade for a lot of things. But as I was saying recently, I started thinking... Uh, in, 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 a, in a more favourable sort of way towards the 90s. In terms of like memories or something. I think because I actually did stuff in the 90s. I actually did stuff. If you know what I mean. Gary Clark and Christopher thinks the subs. A yeehaw in the style of Bobby. Yeehaw. Wow. True Blue thinks the sub. Six months of hard time, don't tell my boss you'll be fuming. I'm not really walking for home. Oh, right, 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 right. Eggy hard boiled, big wooden bridge. Who do you think are I am? The fuck is that? That's not getting read. Uh, Henry, see that? That I'm just seeing going up the screen there? That's not getting read. I think I've watched enough Star Wars in one week. Uh, for, for one week. Of one week. Bliss, um, Mojo Jojo. Happy birthday. Thanks for the subs. Accents the sub. Had Silla singing all night long, stuck my head for two days. I was thinking about Silla Black, was it fucking last night or this morning? See, as a presenter, I think she's a good presenter. It's, you have to endure the fucking singing. I'd happily swap places with her right now to make it stop. Tashi T thinks the sub. Welcome to the live fucking stream. Freaky Spider Legs thinks the sub. Thanks again, Zaradan Saint. Obfuscated thinks the subs. Hello, Bride Dog. Can I get a classic Lemmy Yeehaw? Also, you're great at DBD. That's right. Um, sometimes when I'm playing Dead by Daily, some of the. What did I say last night? We all got killed, kind of. We're doing well, almost had the door open, and then all four of us got killed pretty much. And I went, what happened there? And you get some people in the team. I don't know if it's because of my cheeky nature. Some people in the team who go, they, they kind of go in the attack as if you're blaming them. And I'm like, I'm just like, you know, what happened there? Get people get dead defensive. Um, obfuscated is kind of one of these sorts of people. There's other ones. They're all like that. They're all like that. They think there's something going on. Um, obfuscated. I don't quite know what you're saying, but I'm just saying this. I'm all about... Um, the team I'm all about the team I'm not interested in any part of the world I'm all about the team I'm not interested in any intra-team intra if you would call it that uh, arguments no interested I'm not interested I'm interested in, uh, I'm, my enemy is the killer Uh, uh, posty. Oh, that's a word. All right, maybe not like that. Uh, pasty. No, it's got a fucking O. Oh. Uh, let me see. 
Is it? Is it? Here, here's what we're going to do. Right, watch this. What they funky? Aha! Bang! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's that. That's that. There's certain words I type. See if I'm see if I'm doing octodal. I do ghost, place, and funky. I like to do the words um, to kind of cover quite a lot of letters. Oh, sorry, this is for, I've seen it. So I just thought, right, fuck it, I'll do that to see if, I, if anything I can get. O U S T. That's probably ow, oust. Joust is about the only fucking one I know. Now that was a game. Joe Breaker thinks the sub. Did you ever watch Scotch and Rye? I did. And I liked it. Mecha Weech thinks the sub. Can I have a wee shout out to people with back pain? This is a big shout out to people with back pain. Such as I. Such as I. Hence me going like this every two seconds. Mick the Master Fighter thinks the sub. Was the Windy Man character from The Limmy Show? Uh, I don't, I've no, I'm not familiar with that programme. Uh, based on yourself, uh, I don't quite know what you're talking about there. I don't, I'd have to see it and ask the person if they based this character in this other programme. If it's based on me. Loving the trucking and Street View. Part. Are you sure you've got the right person? My trucking. My Street View stuff. Are you sure you've got the right Limmy? The Windy Man character based on... It's based on... Um, we used to do that when I was wee. If it was uh, windy, you'd get your, your snort coal, your path card, whatever you call it, and sort of put it upside down, your jacket. Upside down. You sort of like flip it round the way, so you've got a kind of, like a, almost a parachute sort of thing. Like a cape coming up the way, and then the fucking wind, you'd almost feel like you, if it's dead windy, the wind would fucking blow you up. Let's sail. And it would fucking blow you up. Um, there was a wee bit in my school... I can, I'll show you exactly. That was windy as fuck. See, has Google Maps got a... Uh, has, has Google Maps got a... Uh, date thing? You know, can, uh, can you go like that? Show me something. Show me what it looked like ten years ago. Where the fuck am I? Where the fuck is the fuck? This fucking shit. This fucking thingy. Um, can I say? Can you have that? Right, 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 right. Uh, that there. Then that there. So th right there. Right. That's Ring Street. Is it? Is it? Oh, aye, right there. Aye, so... That's what it's like now. That's where I grew up. Here. That's July... Two th there's... That's 2008. That's my old school. Now, what I want to see, though... And look at that. Look! Look! What I want to see... Is right, come back. Uh, right, could you please show me what this looked like 10 years ago? Will you do that? Is that possible, everybody? Is that possible? No, that's it then. The end. There was a wee bit at the side of the school, the kind of where you go out and then go down the, the, the stairs and, and go at the gate, that just see when it was windy, it was just fucking windy as fuck in this one bit. Google Earth can apparently. Right, Google Earth, uh, web one, don't have to fucking download it. Desktop app. 
you think I need to download it, forget it. Jimmy Buckby, Raker Lunge, Mike the Master Fart, I think it's the subs. Savigma Shoving Stuff. Mark Hello thinks the subs. It's coming right up the 80 stuff. Do you think you'd be a good school teacher? Fucking terrible. I'd fucking hate them. I'd fucking hate them. I'd go in there going, oh, I'll be able to sort of shape the next generation for the better. And just within about three months, you just, but I fucking hate them. Pandora, uh, Raga, The Last Hobnob, Eggy Hard Boiled, FC Matt, thinks the subs. I, I, uh, opinion on John Oliver? No, I don't think he's anywhere near um, Corden levels or anything like that. Not got an opinion on him, really. Don't mean that in a bad way. I remember when I used to watch Community before I knew who he was, I was like, who's this English person? Because he'd pop up now and again, I'd be like, who's this English? Why is this? Who's this? I take it this is a somebody. Why is there an English person in this programme? Ballskin, Clem7, thinks the subs, any advice on editing comedy? Writing or video editing? Hidden Xperia, Connor, thinks the subs. Better catch the streams anymore because they're bloody workman time for a career change, I think I Keep on keeping on. People fucking love that. People love good old um, Death Stranding. Wait, 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 FC Matt? No, 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 who was it? Henry thinks the sub saw it. It's as if I really did. I just skipped to your whole fucking thing. What the fuck are you doing? Are you professional or not? Uh, do I fucking walk around and rip down? No. Shut the fuck up, Brian. Do I walk? No, no. Don't shut me up. I'm going to walk around. You're fucking lights in the middle of a scene. Then why the fuck you? I'll walk right through. Ah, da, 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 da. Like this in the background. Where the fuck is it? Right, right, right. It's, um... What's his name? For God's sakes! For God's sakes! Bad boy bail. Move it out, boy. Oh, geez, a wee sec. I need to fucking hear that. Sorry, the, the editing thing. Clem7, did you reply? Hold on. Forward slash user. Clem. But listen, anyways, no point. Uh, no reply. Reply. Sick. The last message was yesterday. Just sub message and then no reply. From Clem7. Glad you... Right. Want advice? You want some advice? Soon you ask somebody for advice, listen to the advice. There's my advice for you. I meant video editing. Um, no. No. Depends what you mean. One thing, one thing to definitely do is um, one one wee thing. But I don't know what what fucking stage you're at, or what you do. But one thing I definitely noticed with with video uh, people making their own videos, um, everything everything seems to have got better now though. But, um, I don't know, years ago, anybody making their own videos, I'd noticed them, a lot of them doing things like, if they're doing a video by themselves, or even not acting with somebody else, but if they're... Like, they'd film themselves saying something to the other one, of them, and they'd filmed the other one, like my birthday card video. They, I did that because it was, it was recorded in the camera. But, uh, obviously what you want to do is kind of, here and there, overlap. You know, the top, uh, just uh, let me bore you for a second. Let me bore you for just a just a wee moment there. I would say don't overstay your welcome. I, I would say that. That's the terms. That's a, that's a writing thing, though. Um, I would say um, uh, don't overstay your welcome. I 
I, I didn't know. I didn't realise it was the bottle bins. Thank you. Um, well, and I'm saying it's um, what it comes down to is. If you find yourself, it really, the, the answer really great, it, it greatly varies. So no, uh, yes or no, the, yes or no. Right, do you, do you hear how uh, you hear me out a shot there, even though it's the same person? You can't hear it, it, it greatly varies. So no, uh, yes or no, the, yes or no. Like that, you know, uh, it makes you kind of slide things under each other. That kind of thing. You can't even, yes or I no, know, I, yes I, or no. I totally understand, but... Um, what I'm trying to say is that it isn't as simple as I'm just as asking for a yes, yes or no. Yeah. Do you think someone has right to change sure. someone else's life? Yes yeah, or no? Yeah, I know, I know. Yes you or said no? That. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm trying to, I'm trying to answer you. You're asking me uh, are you, to give a yes or no. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's very difficult to give a yes or no to that type of question. How is it a difficult question? Yeah, I'm asking yes yeah, or no. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't come down to that. It yes or that no? Simple. It doesn't just... You know, put one thing under... Another. You get a lot of people who do. I, I, you don't actually get. I've not noticed it recently, but I see people making a wee video and they'd be talking, cut or oh, edit, and then the next person would start talking. We cut there. Next person would start talking, cut, and then back like that instead of, you know, um, you know that that yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Boss got hidden Xperia corner. Uh, Ronky thinks it's up. Can I get a shout out for my mate Big Al, who is suffering with gout and has given up booze and red meat? I fucking talk shit, Big Al. Big Al. Does it exist? Big shout out to your mate Big Al. It doesn't exist. There you go, Al. Not only are you suffering for gout. And you've had to get up booze and red meat, but you don't exist. They call for a ban. I sort of knew. Zombie thinks the sub, Mark. Um, Joe Breaker, Mick. Um, um, Ray Collins, uh, Jimmy, uh, Steel Fieldwork, Apollo thinks the subs. F favourite flavour of matchmakers, um, Mint. Stay Crawler thinks the sub. I'm very well. Barry Sandwich and Northern Stig thinks the subs. Can you please recommend a secret Santa gift for my mate? <laughs> Get a... Go into that shop, it's in Sucky Hall Street. Um, it's called like fucking Scribbles or something, I can't remember. But it's just nonsense, it's just full top to bottom, back to front. We all that Blackpool sort of smut sort of gear. It's like cock this and cock that and all that. Cocks and things like that. Tits and cocks and... You could squeeze things and all that. And it's got cups on it with like fucking you're a ball bag and all that. Tom Whistler, thanks for sub. Thanks for giving that sub, Colin. Thank you very much. Who now would be interested in watching an absolutely pish uh, 80s, uh, Christmas special 80s? Let's really, really, really fucking torture ourselves. Shut up with that, you fuck off. I'd really like to see you play Oxygen Not Included. Let me say it someday. Alright then. Alright, let's have a look. Oxygen, oxygen not included. Uh, review. Right. Hey guys, and welcome to Should You... Right. I've not seen this game. I might have glanced at it once. Look at that, everybody. Can you imagine watching me play that? Can you imagine watching that on your fucking mobile with a tip with a chart below it? So like the top third of your phone has got this. Dubai, where all we do is talk a little bit about the game. Well, Absolute stream killer. It's worth the cost. Why is the quality so fucking bad? 
oxygen not included. That's better. Base building, survival, crew no. like game where your goal is to build a car. Alright, you can zoom in. Right, you can zoom in. But still alien asteroids. See see things like this, see this is what I've learned anyway. What's that one that's topped in? Question that we What's that one that's topped in? Videos is what stage of development is the game in? And in this case, oxygen not included is in Rimworld, I it's too on PC and I don't think it kinda looks good. It's all sort of brown and all that, which is alright. I, I don't need everything to be all multicolored like fucking uh, Overwatch or something. But see at least with something like uh City Skylines. You can sort of zoom in and zoom out, and there's also that mod that I got where you can actually go down at ground level and sort of have a wee walk about. And you can make up these sort of stories in a way. Describe it. It's essentially a um, builder colony survival game. You're going to need everything you might think you would in a game like this. Is um, food and water to iron and dirt. I don't think it's something that the so casual viewer can get into. Oxygen, as the title suggests, I don't think it's something that is not included with um, the game. You just sort of pop in and know what the fuck is going on. Imagine, imagine you miss this for the first couple of days. You come in, new oxygen, you blah, what, 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 what? And even if you were, way you were watching for the start, I prefer things like uh, Subnautica, The Forest. What's the other one? Green Hell. Well, you're trying to do things. I know this is different. It's my strategy in a way, but kind of. But I prefer something that kind of looks a bit real. And for me, I, I like... You can see things, and there's a thing running towards you, and you know that kind of thing. That's a bit too, two D, and I don't think it's a good thing to watch. Don't starve. I've looked at. I've looked at. Don't starve. I feel the same kind of way with that as well. Not so much as a day with that that one just there. Hey guys, and welcome to Should You of Don't Starve, where your goal is to, well, not starve. So the this reminds me of first question that we always cover in these videos. Cut with alarm. What stage of development is the game in? And in this case, Don't Starve Together is currently and in full release. And a lot of people, I just had a feeling with Cut with alarm. A lot of people just uh, tuned it. Twenty dollars. So what exactly it. is the game? Well, Don't Starve Together is a top-down survival game in which you are able to play through the Don't Starve world, but with friends. If you have ever played the regular Don't Starve, this is just that with a little bit of the different DLCs all mixed in. In Don't Starve, I just don't think cooking recipes in which well, I mean, look at that's coated alarm there. You can learn in order to make the best possible food for whatever situation. Best possible food and all these V icons and, and stuff like that. Meatballs are a great hunger food where melon sickles will restore your sanity. Speaking of sand, I just don't see it. Somebody would come in and go, all right, what's this? And I'm like, oh. right, so everybody, so if I combine the watermelon with the, um, right, so that gives me plus three food, but plus two, at least with, at least with that kind of thing, but Subnautica or the forest, you're getting, you're getting something that looks kind of real. And that's, I kind of like things like that. But you love survival stuff. I know, but I like um, sounds, environments, green things, and ups and downs, and uh, the feeling that I'm actually hiding for something. You know, I, I kind of prefer that. I don't like the wee sort of things like that. No, completely as an absolute fucking rule. I like, or if it's got wee characters, forget it. But um, I don't like it. Daryl thinks the sub. Nay to say, I in nay money to honour this anniversary. Thank you very much for the sub, nice one. Young Grebo thinks of the bits. Give after party a look, relatively short and pretty funny dark. Um, can please nobody give me any bits or anything like that to check out a game? Because here's what I want to do. No, I'm not going to look at that. I want to get on with looking at my 80s Christmas specials. You have just gave me 200 bits to look at a game, and I'm like that, no. I just, I'm just like, that. nah. I'm not, gonna even, I'm not even going to click on Firefox, go to fucking YouTube, nah. I'll do it this time, but, but you know, just because I want to move on. It's a... After part, relatively short and pretty funny, stroke dark. 
after party trailer game. Three years ago. Teaser trailer. Milo, how long have we been friends? Our entire lives. Our whole entire lives. Oh no. So I want you to understand that I'm not blaming you. Right, so this is a kind of... It's got a feeling of... What is it? Um, in the... In the uh, uh, t uh, t uh, t uh, night... Night in the woods. And what was that other one I played that was... You kind of go into... Is it, do you go into space? I can't quite remember. What was the other one I just binned? Lots of speech bubbles. The guitar one, I Artful Escape, is that what it was? I can't even remember the fucking name yet. Sent to hell. Two, uh, what do you want? Two dead orphans. And I'm not even saying how drinking Satan to get back home is the worst idea you've ever had. Okay, well, Lola. Hold on. Satan to get. And I'm not even saying how drinking Satan to get back home is the worst idea you've ever had. And I'm not even saying that uh, there's Satan to get back home is the worst dating. Okay, well. I'm not even saying how drinking Satan to. Drinking, drinking. Out drinking, out drinking. Right, out drink, right. And I'm not even saying how drinking Satan to get back home is the worst idea you've ever had. Okay, well, Lola, what are you saying? No. Ah! I mean, there's a game that people recommended that I wasn't into. I'm not saying it's a fucking bad game, it's just no my cup of tea. It's no my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. What's the rumours? Rumour is that you turned your back and then when you were asked what you thought about Greenbelt winning, you apparently said, next question. No, I said, let me take another sip of champagne. That's what I said. Look. The county voters didn't seem fit that, you know, we were worthy of the of best picture. And the uh, same, and you know, look, it's a, I guess it's progress, you know, do the right thing to even get nominated. So uh, I guess it might have to take another 20 years to uh, come back. So we'll see. Well, what do you make of Green Book as a film? Yes, I It's, I mean, it seems very similar to Driver's Daisy. Thank you so much. They just changed the driving positions. That was the same year as Do the Right Thing, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Do the Right Thing not get nominated for Best Picture. Just, I got, Daniello got nominated for Best Supporting Actor, lost out to Denzel for Glory, and had Best Screenplay nomination, lost out to Dead Post Society. Is there something about Green Book that offends you? This is what I'm trying to get to. Offend? Are you British? Yeah. Are you British? I am. Let me give you a British answer. It was my cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Not my cup of tea. <laughs> That's how I played this. Let me give you a British answer. It was my cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Not my cup of tea. <laughs> hey. Oxen free wasn't my cup of tea. This isn't my cup of tea. It's a, it's a it's a certain t uh, certain personality that likes this sort of thing, and I'm no that isn't me. I'm no Milo. Where the duck are you? Do you know what I mean? I can't. I can't. Very well made. Very well made.
looks very good. Sounds good. I'm sure the story's good. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm just saying you should pace yourself. Uh, Lola, can you get alcohol poisoning in hell? Rum! Rum! Poisoning in hell? Rum! Orchestral hit. There you go. There you are. Is it a orchestral hit? What so what songs is that? I'm gonna see if I can think of three songs that's got that. Um So Hard Pet Shop Boys, we go go with that right away. Uh, it's a teacher strike, so Daniel's off school, but he's doing his work. And he asked what, uh, thank you very much, mods. He asked what pre um, prime decomposition is. I said, I don't know, I've never heard of it before. But he did this prime tree thing before that I'd never, never knew. Never knew. Maths, they were maths. Um, this prime, find out prime numbers for a larger number of prime tree. I never got that in school. Never remember any kind of prime fucking tree. But prime uh, decomposition. I don't, don't remember that. Don't remember it. Johnny, I said, I said, I said to him, I says, listen, <laughs> the only thing I care about is prime subs. All right, prime composition. That's your thing. I'm upstairs. Deal with my prime subs, right? I've got many enough things to think about when it comes to prime. You know, you should be, you know. Steal from work and crew fan lands ta tastic. Tom Wizard, crew fan Tommy Gunner, thanks for subs and bits. What's your favourite BG song? You, I, I, I have to tap my head, you win again. Zella thinks the sub. You're very welcome. Mac Dow thinks the sub. Looking great in your camera. No, no, no. This camera's going to last me till it fucking, uh, I don't know, rusts. Never changing this. Maybe it's the lighting or something. Got a new kind of light. Put a, put a light that side. Young Greebo thinks the bits. After party. Relatively short and pretty funny, dark. <laughs> Young Greebo. It was young Grebo there who suggested that uh, after party game. So um, young Grebo was playing it going like, oh, this is pretty funny. This is pretty funny. Um, out drinking, I'm not saying that out drinking Satan to escape from this place is your worst idea. Young Grebo was like, oh, <laughs> bit of an understatement. <laughs> or is that an overstatement? <laughs> Either way, I get it. It's, it's something like that. Darrow thinks the sub that uh, GH Prime is not fucking Prime, you're not gonna keep up. JCD, hot, how you doing? And Natters thinks the subs. Would you consider yourself good at Ableton, or have you exposed all the techno DJs with that banger yesterday? Um, I'm good in some ways, but I don't know um, a fraction of the things you can learn with stuff like that. With general, it's not even Ableton, just general. Music things and fucking uh, parallel compression or this sort of stuff. Right? Or take the fucking vocals and then put another one underneath it that's heavily compressed, but and it's just sort of at the same time. And I'm like, I listen to videos, I watch videos, and I listen. Right, this is the way on. 
And this is where often I'm like, uh, uh. you get people with all these fucking plugins, this special compressor plugin, this special, another special compressor. I'm like, Fuck this, get a pensado and I. But um All I did yesterday was did a we analog synth and stick in a fucking 909 dragger in it. I just had a kind of compressor and a whole lot. Other than that, nothing. I didn't do anything yesterday. Mr. Acos, Handcake Plays, the pumpkin thinks of subs and bits. I tried searching, but I couldn't find it. Have you played Beacon Pines? I've no. I've no. Right, everybody, can I just say right now, please, name me a game suggestions, because now people are starting to think this is a game suggestion stream, and I'm going to get rude at some point, and somebody's going to give me bits and go, all right, try this game, and I'm going to look like... I'm going to play P Vampire Survivors. What a f Who suggested that the other day? Who suggested that? It was one of my mods. Look, can you just imagine watching this? Can you just imagine watching this? Wait a minute, that's somebody. Can you imagine watching that? Can you imagine watching me playing up for three fucking hours? Games sink their hooks into me and don't let go. A weird little Can you imagine watching me blew up on the Steam play that for three fucking rules? It's like the hundred other tiny pixel art games that come and go every day. What's novel about it is very simple. It's basically unwatchable. Good for me. I'll be like that in a trance. Just, but I don't. Re I, I can imagine it's the sort of thing. Oh no, no. See, once you get right into it, I know it all looks like I'm, I'm a mess. But see, once you get right in it, I know, but it's to watch it. Uh, Pumpkin had Beacon Prime, right? Please, nobody else suggest any games. Uh. I, I, I appreciate you. Please don't. Uh, Beacon Prime, I've got time fucking Prime instead of Pine. Beacon Pines. Venture game developed by Hiding Spot. Right, you play nice. both the reader of a book and its sweet young protagonist, Luke right. Van Horn, who is determined to uncover the secrets of the two right, looks nice. pines. Right. As you walk around exploring the world, looks very nice. Looks nice. Charms, key words that will allow you to determine the fate of the story when you reach moments called turning points. Right. Sometimes you may only have a single option when you reach one, so you must continue right. along that particular path to find additional charms. This a story about change. You can then use a mechanic called the Chronicle to travel back to the past turning death, points man. and choose a newly discovered right, path what's this? paths to lead you towards its true uh, end. See that? It's an unusual... It looks really nice. I mean, look at it. But, um... Reading, 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 reading. I'm not against reading. The one that really paid off to me. The reason being is that it captures the role-playing concept of the player knowing more than their character. This allows particular moments to shine because the game doesn't have to rely on telling you everything about a character. Um, if it doesn't even begin with these character designs. Look, I'm not fucking read. I don't click, click, click. Click, read, read, read. It's not my cup of tea. Despite the gorgeous exterior, Beacon Pines hides some creepy sci-fi secrets, which create an excellent pace for the story. So I wanted to experience back. Right, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. To see more uh, no, it's too much. Also, the short and reading. winding nature of the story can make it a little cap feature of key too events much on a There's certain percentages of things that I need sort of going on. See if it's like constant reading, it would fucking it would it would it would draw light. It it would. I would need the story to be fucking unreal to justify all that reading. And you just know. What are the chances of the story being so gripping that I can't wait to click and read and click and read and click and read and click and read and click? What are the chances, percentage-wise, that the way that is written is fucking right up my street and I can't get enough of it to justify the reading, which isn't my type of game? It's very slow. Very slim. It's pretty interesting. Side side quest to you. And we're no the same person. 
we're no all the same. That's not to say I'm better than you or you're better than me. We're just, it's just, it's just, we're all different than individual. So, um, you'd love Skyrim. Oh, no, I heard that. I'll have a wee look. Skyrim. Skyrim. Sounds good. Skyrim. Fozzy thinks of the bits. Have you ever checked out VPS Avengers synth? Not a game, it's a VST. I've no, and I'm no one to looking into all these things. I don't want, I don't want any of these uh, VSTs. I liked the kind of DX7 one a bit. Um, all these other ones. I'm no one into big, giant fucking sounds and stuff like that. I'm not actually trying to make a genuine, this sounds like something you would hear. I'm in, uh, like on a, on a fucking radio or something, you would uh, people would actually buy your listening. In fact, nobody actually buys music, but you know what I mean. I don't want it to actually sound genuinely pure good. I prefer just sort of fucking about with the analog stuff. Johnny thinks the sub. Gray and Jack Dover Kiwi Sophie Marie thinks the subs. Terrible nightmares last night. Any advice how to deal with them? Don't think about it. Don't you can't go to sleep and think I, I hope I don't have nightmares because then you'll have them because you just thought about one. Don't, don't don't think about it. Just as you're going to sleep because just, just go like, I don't want to have nightmares. Don't want to have nightmares. Don't want to have nightmares. Don't want to have, don't have nightmares. Don't have nightmares. Don't, just keep going like that. Don't have nightmares. Don't think about insects. Don't think about enclosed spaces. Don't think about being buried alive. Don't think about being one of these sort of like uh, cunts that go into fucking caves and all that and pure squeeze through wee holes and then you go upside down and all that. You don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think. There's no reason to have a nightmare. You're in one. You're in one. You're living through a nightmare. You're in one! Shax and Amy thinks the subs. Your banter. Making my maternity leave entertainment. You're very fucking welcome. And we're gonna go into some merd. Like, let's get let's get into it, man. Let's check out what fucking shite we've got today. Your Grebo thinks the bits. I'm sorry for what I've done. Please ban me. You're not you're you're not that important. <laughs> you get people going, oh, right, I suppose I'm gonna get banned for this. No, you're not that. You're not that important. So see if you've been banned, you should take it as a um, badge of honour. I mattered. I mattered once. Let me stream, yes? Yeah, I'm banned. Yeah. I'm banned. Yeah, you can't take me. You can't take me. Yeah. Shocking. Too edgy. That's like, can't you handle real life? Fancy porch, uh, porch likes a sub. Thank you very much. I will decide what I'll do with my money. Thank you, fancy, but I appreciate the idea. Gav Strath thinks a sub. Prime D composed this. What is Prime D? Hold on. Let, let, let's. Hold on. Is this still the city of love?
Sorry, for school, the strike, teacher strike. Teacher strike. The Clark Love, Google Hunter, Petros, Pablo, Parquet, Beefy Steam Pig, and Chubby Lummy thinks the subs and bits get it farted on. Give a shout out to your pal. Well done. Thanks for the sub. Blitz. Thanks for the sub. The gestation period at all cooking for the baby killer. But here we are. Thank you very much. 17 months, that's how long it takes to make an author. I was able to answer that one. It was, um, he, he looked up prime de decomposition. It's basically a prime um, factor tree thing where you take a number and break it into two pot, like two uh, multiples that you could make. Two numbers that that, 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 that that number is the product of that is you can multiply to make that. So imagine it was like, Eight times three. Three is a prime number. Eight isn't it? You can break then the eight into two, like two times four. Two is a prime number. Four isn't it? The four gets broken into two times two. So you break it down like that to show all the prime numbers. Um, and this one was like four, a list of four different ways to make the number 72, which two here are prime uh, correct prime decompositions. One had like one time something. I said one isn't a prime number. Is that right? Aye. A prime number is a whole number greater than one whose only factors are one and itself. In other words, it cannot, a factor is a whole number that can be divided evenly into another number. The first few prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29. There you go. Numbers that have more than two factors are called composite numbers. Was that just like kind of another, like a normal number? If you know what I mean, like 20? Right, anyway. Jim J, thanks for sub. But it should be, thanks, thank you for my shout out. Thank you very much. Just, just tag, tag. And Battlescarred Galactica, thanks for subs. Add my voice to cause it. Thank you very much. I demand that you appear on Taskmaster. I'm not appearing fucking in. I'm not appearing on fucking in. Thermal well. And Captain Lou, Blitz, Clark Love. Thanks for the subs. Do you know, Jamie J, seeing your name there reminds me of when I went for a cycle down a battlefield stroke Lang side and I got something to eat at an Italian kind of cafe sort of thing, restaurant, just down for where the Vicky is or used to be. And I think you tweeted me saying something like, and a few people did. Or maybe you said, oh, that's just... No, no, no. I think you said, oh, that's near where I stay or something like that. I, And I think other people said, oh, just across the road there, these amazing toasties or something. Um, Like, uh, what do you call them? What are they called? Toasties. Grilled fucking toast thingamabobs. Just across the road. I, I think more than one person said it. And I was like... I'm going to go for an all-cycle at some point and go there and try this out. I never did. I never did. But I will. Right, here we go. Look, 80s. Christmas special, UK. Right, we don't want this. We don't want this. This I knew this wasn't what I wanted. I knew this was near. We're going to have to look for a, a specific program. Um, there's Bullseye. There's three, two, one. I three, two, one. Know that one I played eighty seven. We fucking shit seventy nine. I think seventy nine will be particularly bad. This is eighty. Is this the one I couldn't fucking hear? 
79 looks fucking garbage. Seventy line seventy nine looks garbage. This is fifty two minutes long. Seventy nine might be fucking problematic. Um You'd get that kind of stuff right up to fucking I mean, you, you, you can still get stuff to this fucking day, but even like late 80s. Have you scanned, scanned through the thumbnails for racism? There'll be something. There'll be something. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. No, it seems all right. Welcome in, everybody. I'm going to shake some horns. Ladies and gentlemen, Ted Rogers. Chris Emmett and Mike Newman. Karen and Dusty Bin. Fucking hate them. They, see they cunts up the top right. Mike Newman, Hate them. Karen, Dusty Bin, and the three to one go. Shake. Thank you very much. You shake, maybe? Thank you. No? Thank you, everybody, mums and dads, boys and girls, everybody, a very happy Christmas to all of you. A very happy Christmas. We hope you're having a terrific time. Now, we know you probably just got over the lunch, and you probably still got your fingers on the wishbones. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear it all right? Isn't it too quiet? Bit. Not too quiet. Bit quiet. What I'll do is I'll put a wee filter on. Gain. And we'll put it up by... Seven decibels. How's this? So stop doing that with your fingers and try doing that. Now, come on. You know how to do it. Come on, try That's it. We're That's still too loud, loud, is it? Is that all right? And you've got it. We do sincerely hope that you all got the present. Right, right. So let's go back. We missed so a joke. You missed... over the lunch and you probably still got your fingers on the wishbones. <laughs> so she really liked that one. Now, that's the sort of audience member you want right there. She's still got the fucking coat on. Look. Oh, there, look. That's the sort of audience member you want. You still got, probably still got your fingers on your wishbones. And she laughed. And you probably still got your fingers on the wishbones. <laughs> her head went right back. And you probably still got your fingers on the wishbones. Look at that. So stop doing that with your fingers and try... What does that, that even mean? Well, I think you do with like the turkey or whatever. Um, there's, a, there's a bone thing, wishbone, call it. Don't know if you know about that. These days... Um, and you're meant to go like that. Oh, right. Put your fingers around it and then you go like that. It's almost like a Christmas cracker and whoever gets the biggest bit because it snaps, uh, you get to make a wish and it comes through or some shit like that. I still don't get it. Th I don't get what you're saying. Who's this cunt? You know how to do it. Everybody's still with a fucking jacket on. Look. So stop doing that with Looks at uh, Mike Oldfield. Fingers and try doing that. Now, come on. You know oh. how to do it. Come on, try that. That's it. Wish for a whole hour of family fun and you've got it. We do sincerely hope that you all got the presents. That you... So stop doing that with your fingers and try doing that. Now, come on. You know how to do it. Come on, try that. That's it. Wish for a whole hour of family fun and you've got it. We do sincerely hope that you all okay. got try that. Let's do a check. So stop doing that with your fingers and try... Right, so this is 1979 and he's already become well known for doing the 3 two, one thing. So let's see. That is four fingers. I, I'm going. We're going to go by this one, right? This one here. Forget about that. In fact, let's look at both of them. That's four fingers up there. That's three there. Three.
that's 3 on the other side. Uh, sorry. In case you're new to this programme, his thing was to do very quickly with his fingers, 3 that way, then turn the horn for 2 that way, so you're not doing, you know, the Vicky, and then back to 1 like that. So he'd be like that. Kind of like that. And people would try and copy it. And you go, oh, you're not doing it right, you're not doing it right. And what I discovered about a year or two ago, on this stream, on this channel, is he fucking didn't do it either when you slowed it down. Frame by frame. If you just just focus on that, let's not confuse ourselves and just take one horn at a time. That's four fingers up, there's one, two, three, and this pinky is above the halfway mark, I would say that's up. But let's just say it's three. Three. Turns it to three. One, two, three. That ring finger is right fucking up. That is not up for debate. That is right up. That is they just, that is they just like say... Ah, but you've got look, you've got your you've got your ring finger up a wee bit. That's right up alongside the rest of them. And then and then it goes to what it's not even one. It's what is that? Right, and he does it again. Right. There's three. We'll give him that. The pinky's kinda done. We'll give him that. That's three. That is three fucking fingers up. Look! That it goes for three, almost four, to that's meant to be two fingers. That's three. And then that's one. I'm being generous. That's me being generous because I don't want anybody saying, no, 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 come on, come on, you got to give him that. No, I'll, I'll, I'm going to round it and it has round it up to his favour, round it down to his favour and his favour. That's me being generous. Now, can I just say, by the way, this is absolutely, you know, I'm not having a go at the guy. So if there's any family, Ted Rogers watching, it's just a wee bit of fun, poking a wee bit of fun at the 70s. All right? Just poking a wee bit of fun at the 70s and the telly that I grew up with. Right? When this was on, I was five. Five years old. I had just started primary school. Fresh legs since the sub. How do you do the super slow mo on YouTube? Um, if you use, depends what you want to call it, comma or full stop or less than, greater than, signs down the bottom next to the let the right alt above the right alt that one. Basically, full stop and comma. You can go frame back, frame forward. Comma, full stop, comma, full stop. Look, thanks again. Don't don't get to watch much anymore. Have a good Christmas and New Year. Thank you very much. You as well. Look, really have a good one. See after the year. All the I, all the greater than, less than keys. But you might be like that. I so, right, so greater than, less than. Where are they again? If I say comma, full stop, you know exactly where they are. Thank you very much. Ellis thinks, thinks the sub. Happy birthday with some Dave Pensado energy. Have a happy birthday, okay. All right. Fresh legs and Astro thinks the subs. Thanks again. You know, do we come on try that's it. Wish for a whole hour of family fun. Uh, that one he did. doing that. Now, come on. You know, do we come on try this. Right, you know how to do it. Right, so I'm going to give him that as a three, even though I can see the pinky up. Gotta give him that as a three. E That's as good as we're getting. That's how low the standards have been set that I can see, albeit with the kind of artifacts with the compression, you can't quite see the ring finger, but you can see it's up. Halfway. Hold on. Hold on. Do you need help, Daniel? Yeah. Hold on. Back in a minute. Is this still the city of love?
Hello everybody, that's me back now. I, I, I think that's it now. I think that's it now. Right, I think, I think that's it now. Gex and Grumble walks into the subs. If you had to learn an instrument and be in a band, what would you play? Um, and get like us dead good at it. Uh, electric guitar, just guitar. Be able to be a bit expressive and things like that. That'd be good. SGB, Tasha, you're welcome to the beautiful entertainment. Astro, uh, thanks for subs. Not a synth, well, I already know how to. Hey, probably don't want to just be behind a keyboard and, and do that. Right, everybody, get into it, Mon. Ed59, thanks for sub. Do you know a fella in Liverpool sent me a... What, Liverpool? Oh, that's it. Wish for a whole hour of family fun and you've got it. We do sincerely hope that you all got the presents that you were looking forward to. Did she laugh again? Family fun and you've got it. We do sincerely hope that you all got... Oh, oh, oh she's laughing because she's trying to... F the, the, she's trying it. Presents. You hear her laughing? Wish for a whole hour of family fun and you've got it. We do sincerely hope that you all got... That's her laughing. We're ...looking forward to today. I've got some great presents. Do you know, a fella in Liverpool sent me a special gag and he's asked... She just think this is a big fucking joke. I hope she's probably... Uh, family fun and you... Got, you know, wee uh, whiskey in it or something like that. This is the 79s. She's probably doesn't know what the fuck this is. You've got it. We do sincerely hope that you all got the presents that you were looking forward to today. I've got some great presents. Do you know a fella in... Oh, this was actual... This was Christmas fucking day. In Liverpool sent me a special gag and he's asked me to wear it every show. <laughs> uh, great presents. Do you know a fella in Liverpool sent me a special gag and he's asked me to wear it every show. <laughs> Aye, that's a round of applause for that. Right, a fella in Liverpool sent me a special gag and asked me to wear it every show. Is it a double meaning thing? Does a gag... I, I know a gag is a joke. But what's the... Liverpool? Oh, do you think he said something? Do you think he's publicly said something about Liverpool? A guy can a myth. Like why Liverpool? Why Liverpool? I get it. Gag joke. Gag also a thing you know to cover your fucking mouth up type of thing. I get it, but the Liverpool thing. Has he maybe said something before? Probably a Tory. He is a Tory. He is a Tory. Him along with Kenny Everett were at the, the Tory party conference or something. Was a Tory? Oh, sorry. I mean, is at this time. 79, I think that uh, uh, Thatcher was in by that point. 79, she got in, wasn't it? They had, they had won. Aye. Dan Corleone, thanks for the sub. You're very welcome. Tomlin, thanks for the sub. I also had, I had a great present from my old mate Terry Wogan. He sent me one of these special metal blankety blank checkbooks and he even spent an electric drill in case I need to write a check. <laughs> oh, he likes doing that. He likes doing that, doesn't he? Special metal blankety blank checkbooks and he even spent an electric drill in case I need to write a check. <laughs> Right, yep, if, yep, he stumbled at it, right, he's, he's got a wee bit of habit of doing that, he kind of stumbles at it, but um, in case you don't know, um, in blankety blank, the kind of, uh, the prize, was this metal, metal, and appearing tonight. If you, if you didn't, if you didn't get it, I'm leaving. I'm with you. That's that's my great. So that's very nice. And also selection of garden equipment. Isn't it nice? Of oh, she got that. And also right. So the other, the other one that didn't make it. Pen. That's been a smashing contestant. That's my great pal to Duncan, Barbara, and Chris. Right, the other one that got. Of course, Leslie. But especially you. 
Shovel. Right. Here's a. Take another one. Oh, Chris Darren. Yes, darling. I don't know if that's the way to speak. Right. David, don't be disappointed. You made a complete muck of it. <laughs> but hold your head up high, because to be an idiot in this day and age takes a lot of doing, and you succeeded. <laughs> but you're not going to be empty handed. No, by Jiminy, you're not. <laughs> but you're taking with you, won't you, man? A blankety blank checkbook and pen! There it is. Look. I don't know what it is though. I don't know what this is. It's, it obviously looks metal. Is it? Have you actually use it? A checkbook? What? What? What do you do? I mean, I know what a checkbook is when people used to fucking write checks and things like that. But um, do you slide your checkbook into that like it's a fucking? Um, I know, is it not just like a trophy thing? Is it no, just a trophy? As if you get, like, it's a blank check. That's a fucking eye, take, take your eye right out that. Spent an electric drill in case I need to write a check. <laughs> there you are. You two, now meet the first of our Christmas misses not to be missed. That's Karen Palmer with her mate who goes way back. Look at that fucking spotlight. Back, way back behind the house, that is. That's Dusty. Now, uh, what sort of Christmas has he had already? Oh, not bad, Ted. You know, he was asked if a Christmas tree could be stood in him to give away to a home. He was delighted till he found out what the home was. Well, what home was it? Battersea Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then Karen, take him away. We'll see the pair of you a bit later on. Anybody wins him, they take home a brand new dust. <laughs> Don't forget that. Okay. <laughs> Tell them, we're with you here on this Christmas Day with three charming couples ready to play 3 2 1. Will you say a big hello to them right now? Okay. My couple are Wendy. This was a sinking, sinking feeling. Sinking feeling. Look at the fucking state of this place. I bet I bet you this place is cold. I bet it's all a bit it's not it's no freezing. It's just That's why the audience is all wearing the fucking coats. Vonny boy, Morrow Snot thinks it's subs. Oh glad you glad you liked it. Rob Mayhew. Thanks to sub. I'm Paul Warren from East Twickenham near London. Get some fucking Scots going. My couple are Wendy and Paul Warren from East Twickenham near London. I want some. I want some Welsh, Irish, or Scottish. Or if they're English, kind of like up north, Liverpool, Newcastle, just something a bit different for London for doing for doing there. Veronica and Richard Newton from Oldham in Lancashire. Oh, Lancashire, wonderful part of the world. Lancashire's for, uh, George Fawnby's. We might get a George Fawnby impression. Michael Pola, Angie and Eugene Kopileski from Norwich in Norfolk. Bog standard southeast, kind of southeast sort of. Thank you very much, Murray. Now, uh, Angie and Eugene Kobolesky. Now, that's an unusual unusual name, Eugene, right? Now, where does that come from? What's her accent? I don't know. I, I can't remember where she's fair. I can't remember where she's fair. I don't know if she's uh, German or Swedish. It's my father. He was Polish. Uh, French. Actually, French, maybe. father was Polish and you... Right, sorry. What was that? Unusual name, Eugene, right? Now, what? Uh, Angie and Eugene Kobolesky. Now that's an unusual unusual name, Eugene, right? Now that that's it. Where does that come from? It's my father, he was Polish. My father was Polish and Oh, alright, uh, you got uh, you hear that? You hear that, Ted? The dad was Polish. We joke about Polish, Polish, Polish. And you now live in Norwich, yes? That's right, yes. Have you ever been, ever been to Poland yourself? Not yet, but I hope to. Uh-huh. 
Fine. And what sort of uh, work are you in, then, Eugene? I'm an insurance broker. Insurance broker, I see. Have you always been that? Uh, no, I used to be uh, in transport. I was a transport man. This is like trying to catch him out. This is like a game of, you know, yes or no. Or whatever you call it. Um, I don't know. It's not like fucking Mallet's Mallet, Timmy Mallet or something. You know, kind of asking you questions. I so what should they do? Try to get you to say yes or no. If you say yes or no, you're out. I never used to watch that. It was a wee bit... I don't know, I don't think I fucking got up for it. Was it I was a wee bit too old for it. Mallet's Mallet. Because you're watching Wackaday from TVAM, a special little mallet. That is quiet. That is quiet. That's quiet. That's too quiet. That's too quiet. So you kind of say yes or no. You're watching Wackaday from that right? Mallets, mallet round two. Our two contestants here are. It's too fucking quiet. Forget it. I'm not turning up anymore. Right, let's try it with them. Oh, lovely Jane. Very Winifred Glory. I like it's a word association game, Wide Awakers, where you mustn't pause or hesitate, repeat a word or say a word, I don't... Oh, this is something different. Smashing ahead like this. Like this, <laughs> yeah. Or like this. <laughs> no, this is... And it's one with the most bruises who loses, so look at each other, you two, and go... Wait. Master today. Oh. Here we go. It's a word association game, mustn't pause... No, 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 no. So well, what's the, what's the, the one where he did the yes and no one? If you say, if you say yes or no... Oh, you know what? Leave it. Right. You know, so... Oh, so you're a thing, is that right? That is correct. And you're doing that, you're... Right, right. I agree. You know, you do that, you kind of hesitate, you know, that kind of thing. It was Des O'Connor. Oh, at the beginning. That's right. The, the, the kind of box thing. What was it called? Take your brick. <laughs> That's right. Take your brick! I don't break! Am I used to take am I used to fucking search for fucking prick? Right. Here we go. We are P O O N Yapoon. <laughs> and there's funny little restaurants with real funny names like uh, the fat chook. I said to the waitress, where's your poon? She said, next to your knife and your fork. <laughs> oh, yes, no. Yo. You're taking your life in your horns as a streamer whenever you play anything for the fucking eighties. I don't even know if what you said there was dodgy. You, probably. Probably. Maybe. Turn around. OK, Harry, you are Harry. Where are you from? I'm from Twickenham. Twickenham, which is near here. They say so. Yeah, uh, I believe it's uh, just down the road. He's not allowed to say yes or no. Road, really. Just down the road. Are you here with a family? My what? family is not here, but what, what, my can wife's I ask, here, she volunteered Don't make speeches, don't here. make speeches. <laughs> what I'd like to find out from you, Harry, if you don't mind, is your surname. I didn't get that. My surname is Escott. Escott, is that English? It's Scottish, it, isn't it? It's, uh, have you got a family? What about children? Shut up. Have you got any children? That's what I'd like to do when I'm talking. <laughs> have, you, <laughs> have you got any children? I have two children. Two children. Boy, two children. girl. A boy What about grandchildren? Four. Let me ask you about sport. Do you like sport? Do you like swimming? I do. There's Twickenham's here. Do you ever go to rugby? To watch the rugby? Yes, I do. Go on, Melman! Go to rugby to watch the rugby? Yes, sir. Go on, Melman, eh? And the next contestant. It gets executed. If I was a if I was a king or something like that, like Pharaoh or something, that's what I'd do, man. Be you get beheaded on the spot. So you don't even fucking know you've been beheaded because you're still conscious for a bit. You, you, you're like, oh, you're a bastard. And you're like, here, hold on. And you start to feel the whole fucking world turn upside down. That's because your head's falling. The, the, the grin. Right in here, please. Right, go on. We're going to go back to three, two, one. This is it, the initial stage. I think this is the initial stage here. And I don't know how it works. I think the person who lasted the longest gets to pick first for a box or some carry on. I can't quite remember. I don't know. Do you think she's going to do well? Do you think she's going to get more than 30, longer than 30 seconds? I think she's out in less than 20. Here we go. Karen from where? Basingstoke. Basingstoke, which is in Hampshire, isn't it? It is. What do you do? Don't nod your head. If you nod your head, oh. one more. I'll give you a little one off there, but if you do nod your head, you won't nod your head again, will you? I won't. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> 
Yes. Had you, when did you hit again, William? I won't. You sure? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> right. Everybody, listen, it looks easy sitting at home, but when you're there with the cameras and the lights and Des right in front of you, five seconds, you're like that. You, you could see that she had probably practiced it with her family and all the rest of it, but see when you're there, 10 seconds, honestly. 10 seconds, seriously. Oh shit, I've ruined that one. Yes, I think oh, yeah. General. General cooking. Yeah. My mum was a vegetable cook. You said, did you say? Yes, I think oh. you, did, you did, didn't you? I don't. Hello, you are? Margarita Schultz. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Exactly 19 seconds. Oh, well, she's only got Margie on there. Marguerite, Margarita or Margie? Margarita. Margarita. A little nod, but only a fraction of one. One more and you'll have to go. Where are you from? I'm from Wales. Wales. It's a nice part of the world. Have you come down today? I have. On a bus? By train? I'm afraid not by train. Are you, have you got a friend with you? My sister Madeline. Your sister Madeline. Is yeah. she happy? Yes, oh fuck, my hand. My sister Madeline. Your sister Madeline. Is yeah. she happy? Oh, she said yes to my sister Madeline. My sister Madeline. Your sister Madeline. Is yeah. she happy? Yes, <laughs> oh. oh, you are. just keep walking, keep walking, Ogin, keep walking. He'll be able to just go like that. What? What? With every question. What? Um, he's either going to do it, I think, very shite or very good. Oh, he's out in less than 10. He's out in less than 10. Oh, there you That's it, we skip after it, that's it. Less than 10. Hello, George, I'm glad to, I hope you're enjoying your trip, is the obvious thing to say to you. How long, how long have you been sitting, um, waiting for a big moment in your life like this to happen? Did you ever think you'd be on TV? Well, I've been waiting ages. Have you been waiting ages? Mm. Well, I'll tell you what, you've got a lovely oh. smile, and I've got that feeling... Uh, sorry, Des, but he went, mm, and nodded. Now, you've been giving everybody else a fucking warning for that. Give him a warning, I don't give a fuck what he's been through. Same rule applies to everybody. That's how corruption happens. I know, but you know, you know, he probably fought in the war and all that, right? So, what you get to escape the law, do you? That's how it happens. The rule of law, everybody, the same law. You're going to give me a run for my money. What did you used to do? What was your job? Are you still working? I was a publican at one time. Like owning a pub, like the EastEnders, or. Just serving behind a counter? I was the landlord of a country pub. What was the name of it? Uh, the Scarlet Arms. Whereabouts? In Wallace Wood. Uh, is that in... Um... Oh, fucking... There's... A... This is... This is... Cur um, we're looking at corruption here. We're looking at corruption. Des normally goes like this. Um, oh, so you owned a pub, did you? I did. Uh, how long? Uh, three years, I imagine. Three years. You know, he'll say it back to you. So you go, uh-huh, yes. He's not doing it with him. He's not, doing, he's not asked any question for like 10 seconds where the answer would be a yes or a no. In fact, you know what? Just serving behind a counter? Right. 20, th 23 seconds he asked a yes or no question there, right? He asked a question you could answer yes or no. 23 seconds, right? I was the landlord of a country pub. What was the name of it? Uh, the Scarlet Arms. Whereabouts? In Wallace Wood. Uh, is that in um, Lancashire? Right. Ten seconds. Ten whole seconds has passed. It is in Sussex. You... That was a yes or no, that one. You sure it's in Sussex? I am what was sure. your sporting activities when you were a younger man? I or what am, are they I, now? I was footballing. Did you play football? I did play did football. Did you watch football? Who was your favourite team? At Crystal Palace. Have you got fan, fan, friends here or family? Got a wife here? Have you got friends? I've got friends here. Friends? I have. And you're quite happy to be here, you're not nervous? Did no. you ever, did, what do you think about my oh. singing? Oh, oh, eh, ah, 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 ah. Quite happy to be here, you're not nervous? Did no. you ever, did, uh, what was that, what? What do you think about my singing? 
Uh, no, perhaps you better not answer that. <laughs> <laughs> you asked about it. No, 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 no. And I'll fucking tell you, see anybody back then watching that, it angers me to think that people were watching that back then and going like that. He actually did pretty well there. No, he fu he did. He did do well with the... I did. I did. I have. It is. Right? He did do that, but he's, he's speaking slowly. He's sort of fucking... But Des didn't... There was a whole 10 second gap there of Des not asking a question where you would say yes or no. He's fucking 80. Plastic orange, what is it you're saying? What is it you're saying? Are we playing this or no? Do you know what I mean? Are we playing it or no? Is there a rule that says above a certain age then you don't... Does this many yes or no questions paired? No, no, no. It's the same game all the time. That's it. He did well. He did, not Lewis thinks to the sub. Another month of hell. Can I get enthused? He did do the best at the lot of them, but he just... He got an easy ride. And he fucking... By the way, he nodded him in. Huh? And didn't get a, a, a warning. Redgar. Eight. Thank you very much for the eight fucking months. Can I get an enthusiastic yeehaw? Yeehaw. Jimbo and Vonnie Boy, thanks, thanks for the subs, thanks again. Unusual, unusual name, Eugene, right? Unusual. Where did that come from? It's my father, he was Polish. My father was Polish, and you now live in Norwich, yes? That's right, yes. Have you ever been, ever been to Poland yourself? Not yet, but I hope to. Uh-huh. Fine, and what sort of work are you in then, Eugene? I'm an insurance broker. Insurance broker, right? Have you always been that? Uh, no, I used to be uh, in transport. It's like that, it's like I cannot... Uh, it's just, aye, aye, insurance broker, insurance broker, aye, aye. What did you do before that? Uh, uh, used to drive lorries, drive lorries. It's like that. Well, I was a transport manager. Now, Angie, what sort of work do you do? I'm an X-ray receptionist. X-ray receptionist for the doctor, yes? That's right. Nice yeah. guy to get along with, is he? They vary. Can you read his Oof. writing, by the way? Never. No, neither can Never. I. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Well, with your, <laughs> with your name, Kobolesky, I bet you give him a few problems too, don't you? I'm known as Mrs. Whatnot at work. Mrs. Whatnot. <laughs> it's a lot easier, isn't it? One thing I would like to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that all our couples tonight, actually, they all got married this year, so in fact, they're spending their very first Christmas together, so have a good time. Let's get on with the question. Oh, so it's I'm sorry, let's job. just hear that again. <laughs> Might have missed that. I'm can you read exceptions for the doctor, yes? Incredible. Surprising lack of piss taking. The guy said he, he's, he's Polish. In 1979, that would be a fucking open goal. Um, Polish. Polish. You know, or what? You know, the word pole, a pole. Maybe, maybe, I mean, people in the UK knew about Poland, but maybe it was just a wee bit too far east for people to be able to go, oh, huh, Poland, they there, they're, they're a bit like this, aren't they? They wouldn't know. They wouldn't know. It'd be like saying Czechoslovakia. World War II jokes. Could be that. It could be that. It could be. I mean, 1979, that's fucking, what, 34, 34, 34 years. Only only 34 years after the end of the Second World War. It could be a kind of Poland. How's it going? You all right? How are you? Thanks for coming on. Everybody. Could be like that. Pete, thanks for the sub. That's right. What do you do? I'm an X-ray receptionist. X-ray receptionist for the doctor, yes? That's right. Nice yeah. guy to get along with, is he? They vary. Can you read his writing, by the way? Never. No, neither can Never. I. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Well, with, your, <laughs> with your name, Kobolesky, I bet you give him a few problems too, don't you? I'm known as Mrs. Whatnot at work. Mrs. Whatnot. <laughs> it's a lot easier, isn't it? One thing I would like to tell you, ladies and gentlemen... You hear that? So the name is... What is it? It's like something like Kopolowski or something like that. It's a... 
I can't. I didn't hear the name. But she said, "Oh, I'm known as Mrs. Whatnot." Like, what was it? So basically, the the doctors are. Like, I'm not fucking saying that. I'm not saying that. I can't be fucked saying that. We'll just call you Mrs. Whatnot. You're going to be Mrs. Whatnot. Tell them that all our couples tonight, actually, they all got married this year, so in fact they're spending their very first Christmas together, so have a good time. Let's get on with the questions. The lady with them this week, it's Annie St. John. Annie? Not cool. Welcome to 1979. A sneaky way. Now, Annie, what sort of time have you had already? Oh, it's really weird, Ted. Yes? Yes, last night, Christmas Eve, you know, there was a man banging on my door for an hour and a half. Well, it was probably Father Christmas trying to get in. No, this fellow was trying to get out. <laughs> I believe you. Right, <laughs> one. <laughs> we we talking all that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I believe you. What, I mean? well, probably what do you mean I believe you? To get in. No, this fellow was trying to get out. <laughs> I believe you. I what do you mean I believe you? She just admitted to kidnapping. What do you mean? Bruno, Robola, thanks for subs. Well, thanks, Annie. Okay, right, now you know what happens in the first round. They play for £10 for each correct answer. Score 10, you'd have 100. Score 10 in the next round, you'd get 1,000. Now this... Uh, it's not clear what was going on. Um, maybe she's maybe a, a serial killer, perhaps. Perhaps. I don't think I could get sued for saying that. So three ways they can be stopped in the first round. If they make a mistake, repeat an answer, or if the time runs out. That's when they hear from one of our resident funny men. This week, it's Mike Newman. Oh, my God. This, I don't know if you've fucking seen this, but if somebody gets a wrong answer, if they fuck up this wee beginning, but they actually go to these two fucking comedians to do some sort of stupid wee comedy bit. Instead of just going, like, no, that's you. Resident funny man. Get to fuck. Oh, delayed clap, hold on. Our resident funny men. This week, it's Mike Newman. Oh. oh, Chris Emmett rang me. He says, uh, are you coming around to my house tonight? I said, I can't come around to your house tonight. I'm not home from last night yet. <laughs> he said, listen now. Um, oh, um, do you know that went so, that went too fast for me. House tonight. I said, I can't, can't come around. Oh. Chris Emmett rang me, he says... Chris Emmett? Is that relevant? Who's that? Uh, are you coming around to my house tonight? I said I can't come around to your house tonight. I'm not home from last night yet. <laughs> he said, listen now. Um... Is the joke that he's still at the house that you coming around to my house tonight? I can't come round to your house tonight. I'm still not home from the other night. Is he saying I'm still in the house that you are? Oh. Chris Emmett rang me, he says, uh... Right, who the fuck is Chris Emmett? We can work this out, I know we can work this out. Chris Emmett. Oh, it's him! It's that guy, it's the other one! It's the other guy! It's him! Biography of a water rat? What? Is that a... a, a like a... A granddaughter of the water rats? It's him! He was in the Order of the Water Rats, or is, is he? He is Rat of the Year. 
Since then, he's been a proud recipient of three honours. Rat of the Year. The King Rat Award and Badge of Merit. The badge of Merit sounds shite. It's the first two you want. He's in, he's in this. He's one of the two funny men. There he is. He's 83. He's a member of the show business charitable fraternity, the Grand Order of Water Rats. Newly inaugurated Bob Hope. Alongside grandson Zachary Hope. Fucking what? Uh, what rats? Purpose to assist members of the theatrical profession or their dependents who are in need. There you are. There's your founder there. There's your found founder. There's your founder. There he is. I'm going, I'm going to fucking start something like that, man. I'm going to start something like that. Grand Order. Kind of rat god. Uh, what, what was it? I was a rat for quite a while in Rust. I'm just going to start Grand Order the, the Water Rats. I'm going to start mine one. Same name. The people cheering for humanity's end. A disparate group of thinkers say we should welcome our demise. All right, tell me where they are then. Be happy to fucking help them out. That's just a wee joke. Right. Golf thinks the sub. Thank you. For, uh, Merry Christmas when it comes, all right. Are you coming around to my house tonight? That's Oh, Chris Emmett rang me, he says... Chris Emmett, that's that guy, the other guy, the other funny man, rang me the other night. Uh, are you coming round to my house tonight? Are you coming round to my house tonight? I said I can't come round to your house tonight. I said I can't come round to your house tonight. I'm not home from last night yet. <laughs> he said, listen now. I'm not home from last night. What does it mean? It doesn't make any sense at all. Does it? He's still there. But he says, does no say that he phoned him or he just called him or... But it doesn't make any fuck. Why are they laughing? I'd, I'd just, I'd just be sitting there going, I don't get it. Well, it's a joke. I know it's a joke, but I don't kind of get. It's not even like a play on words. You know, it's not even. I don't. He called him on his phone. That don't. It's his home. It doesn't make any sense. Chris Emmett rang me. He says. Uh... Chris Emmett rang me. So not called me, right? So it's not like called. He called. Oh, oh, I thought. The presumption was he called on a phone, but he's actually like called at the window or some shit, like called from one room to another. No, rang me. I don't get it. Livy says, you idiot. Oh, thanks, Livy. Livy, what is it? Thank God. Right on you go, Livy. Take it away. Is that all right, everybody? One of our mods, Livy, is going to explain. Spotlight doesn't work the fuck to code up. I'm an idiot, everybody. I'm an idiot. Okay. Sorry, Livy. Take it away. Explain. I'm going to do a new spotlight anybody, anyway, everybody, that's kind of bigger. That's bigger and takes up the whole of the left. Um, I didn't spot if Livy said something, I might have missed it. Perhaps I missed it. Oh, oh, right, right. Okay, okay. Okay, forward slash years, I have to deal with this. I really should get a spotlight thing sorted out. Sorry, I have to start driving now. Bye. Safe journey. Jeffers, thanks to sub. You're very welcome. As your fellow work colleague here, is your Christmas. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you. 
relax into the sub, you won't stop anything because you hate everyone and everything. What are you on about? I start lots of things. I start lots of projects and I get the projects finished. Um, relaxes, Max. Um, you don't start anything because you don't have the skills and confidence to see it through to the end. Um, if you're talking about like what was my last project? Yeah, the the music thing that I made yesterday. Robola and Bruno Goff, thanks again. Chill dude, thanks for sub. I regret using my prime sub on someone who watches this shite. Thank you very much. Uh, are you coming around to my house tonight? I said I can't come around to your house tonight. I'm not home from last night yet. <laughs> he said, listen now. I don't know why he got such a big fucking laugh. I don't, I don't get it. He said he called him, so there's no, no mobile, so it's like a house phone, landline. Landline. Oh, he's so drunk. Is he so drunk that he doesn't know? He doesn't think he's at back in his own house. I don't fucking... Hey, listen, are you coming to my party New Year's Eve? I said, of course I am, Chris, of course I am. Uh, when is it? <laughs> He wouldn't know. He just wouldn't know. Our couples have chosen their envelopes. Fucking what? Uh, when is it? <laughs> that has got to be... That has got to be a laughter and applause sign. It has got to be. It has got to be. Silly Irish, eh? Is that the joke? Is he putting on an Irish accent? No, just wouldn't know. Our couples have chosen their envelopes at random, so either of them could have any set of questions, and you Wait, know... What? Year's Eve. I said, of course I am, Chris, of course I am. Uh, when is it? <laughs> he wouldn't know. He just wouldn't know. He wouldn't know. We're to what? So, the other guy that he's talking to wouldn't know either. Ted, you've not got the joke. The joke is that he... He's... Oh, uh, I Christmas Eve, I, I, I'll come on Christmas Eve. Uh, when is it? But it's, it's, it's talk, he's talking to Chris. Is it like that? He wouldn't know either. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> he wouldn't know either. Our couples have chosen... Obviously oh, New Year's Eve, right? ...envelopes at random, so either of them could have any set of questions. And you know we like you to answer alternately, and that's always ladies first, Angie, you first, all right? And as you're playing for £10 a point in the first round, we don't give you anything to start with this time. However, your score for £10 for each correct answer this time is we want the names given to clocks and watches worn on the person or found about the house. Now, we'll give you an example, fob watch, but you must not use fob watch, all right? So names given to clocks and watches worn on the person or found about the house now. For, what, what, what? What? Um, I don't know. Stopwatch, cuckoo uh, clock, um, grandfather clock. Wrist watch. Is that it? A watch, an egg timer. Would you say that's a watch? Would you say that's a watch? Does it tell the time? That's a shite question, that, isn't it? 30 seconds? I can get every answer I know in three. Alarm clock. Dress watch. Kitchen clock. Wrist watch. Carriage clock. Grandfather clock. Mantle clock. Fucking what? Quartz clock. How many clocks did they fucking have back in 1979? A mantle clock? What was the other one they said? This is just places. Um, kitchen clock, living room clock, toilet clock, cupboard clock.
a good kitchen clock. A good clock. The wife gave me a present this uh, morning. She gave me a barometer. She said, I took a, I thought a barometer. It said hurricane on it. I thought that's no good. Took it back to the shop. The fella changed it for me. I got home. The house had blown away. <laughs> I'm hitting a fucking serious downer here. I might go to the doctors. I might go back to the doctors and say, Doctor, I'd like another prescription of citalopram again. Um, I've been really trying hard to keep, you know, myself afloat and all the rest of it, but it's just sort of hit me pretty bad. Can you double the fucking dosage? What was it, 20 milligrams? Uh, give me, you know what? Let's have a wee Christmas treat. Give me fuck, give me 60. Give me 100 milligrams. In fact, give me a whole gram. A whole fucking gram of citalopram right in my fucking veins. Every hour. On the hour. House had blown away. Oh, good. Why? Go back to the shop. Uh, can, I, can I ask? Um, there's been new, you know, guidelines brought in that, you know, we've got to really investigate, you know, whether, you know, it is right for you. We come under criticism for, for um, you know, prescribing medication too, too, too quickly without really perhaps explaining side effects and things like that. Um, and so on, uh, I believe that the patient knows best, but we do have to go through these, um, jump through these hoops and all the rest of it. Can I ask, what is it that, has prompted this, if anything. Are you aware of what has perhaps prompted it? I can tell you exactly what it is. Watch this. I thought a barometer. It, the wife gave me a present this uh, morning. She gave me a barometer. She said, I took a, I thought a barometer. It said hurricane on it. I thought that's no good. Took it back to the shop. The fella changed it for me. I got home. The house had blown away. <laughs> well... And then the doctor had a downer. The doctor sat down and just went like that. Uh, I'll get it in a minute. I'll get it in a minute. I'll get it in a minute. Eugene and right. Who is that cunt? Three... Three, two, one, resident funny men. Hey, that's not happening. That's not happening. Who are they? Right. Starring Chris Emmett. And who's the other person? Right. So I've searched for Chris to see if he pops up in the... Not Christmas. Aye. Uh, there we go. Early series program featured the regular cast of comedy performers include Chris and Mike Newman, Felix Bonus. I doubt that's comedy actor. Oh, aye, right, Mike Newman. I don't know who that is. Mike Newman, comedian. That's some there, right? Mike, where are you from? Mike Newman, where are you from? Anybody remember them? I right. He is he the Irish comic who appeared on shows in the seventies and eighties. His son is also a comedian, but it seems as though Phil is still in a busy. Oh, but I'll just, I'll just fuck up. No. That was 2011, though. Ted passed away. Did that kiss him alive? Um, that was just one person on a website, though, saying he's Irish. What is that? No, no, he could be, he could be putting on, but I think he is. Remember that, that uh, Jimmy Cricket? Jimmy Cricket used to do that. I think he's for Ireland, Northern Ireland, and he would do the whole um, kind of 
jokes where he's being all kind of daft and all that. Is it really all right even if he is Irish? Well, it's fucking, it's his. It's like me, it's like me talking about being a fucking, uh, a miser, a miser alcoholic. Because I'm Scottish. I can do what I want, say what I want. He is Irish, right. Self-hating Irish. Look, I went on that fucking IT crowd. Like, I, I'll, I'll be a Scottish guy that can of be understood. I fuck it. My big moment. Right here, thanks for the bits. Give us your best Mike Newman style joke. All right, in. Um, my wife bought me a barometer. And it said on a hurricane. I said, that's no good. I took it back to the shop. When I got back to the house, the Wisner house, it had blown away in the hurricane. There was this... But I was getting warned about with the barometer earlier. Vaden and Tommy thinks it's some of bits. This is absolutely horrific and I'm loving it. Glad to hear it. Rob thinks it's bits. You're very welcome. Weeble and Ronald thanks for subs. Jamcore thanks again. Thank you very much. Angie, there was a mistake there, in fact, you did say pie and kitchen clock, which really is a repeat of kitchen clock. There were a few more you could have said, like desk clock, cuckoo clock, travelling clock, wrist watch. However, how'd they score, Annie? Well, Angie and Eugene scored eight, so they have 80 pounds. 80 pounds. Fuck, incredible. <laughs> look, look, look. Yeah, pounds. look. 80 pounds. Look at her, look. She's like, fuck. <laughs> good stuff. Fuck, 80 quid. In today's money, UK. Uh, 80 quid. And in 1979. Bang! 360 quid just like that. For eight questions. 360 quid just like that. Just like that. Guaranteed in your pocket. See bullseye. See the money you get in bullseye. That's I don't even think you'd get that that much if you're if you're like like the winner. I don't think you get that much. And that was an eight. That was just answer for clocks, types of clocks. Uh, a pine pine kitchen clock, an oak kitchen clock, MDF kitchen clock. Honestly, 1979 for that guy to say, I suppose they, they took the piss at the name a bit. Um, kinder, no, really, just sort of remarked upon it, but no, a fool on Polish, you say? You're for Poland? Ha. Huh. Um, oh, what's that? Italian, you say? And then some sort of kind of put down, you know, like, haha, you're for there, but we're for here, and you know, things are a wee bit better here. A wee bit more normal. This is uh, uh, surprisingly respectful. And here we've got Richard and Veronica. For 79. And you're from uh, Oldham in Lancashire, right? That's yes, right. now then, Richard. You're, in life you're a life assurance inspector. Now, right. what's the difference between insurance and assurance? I'll tell you right now because I learned it in school. Life in uh, something insurance is if in case it happens, assurance it is going. You're going to get this payment when you die. It's absolutely you know it's because it's going to happen. Uh, well, insurance you insure against a possibility something which might happen, like your car. Like maybe. me getting a laugh, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I may burn down. So yeah. Assurance is purely against an eventuality, I like see. one day. We're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, that happens to me every week here. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, did you, think, you think you're pretty good at your job at me every week here? One day, we're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> that happens to me every week here. The house may burn down, so yeah. assurance is purely against an eventuality. It's purely against any eventuality. See, an, an eventuality. Does that mean it is something that is going to eventually happen? There's no possibility in it. 
right? Let's see. Let's see. Eventually. Not not eventually. Not eventuality. Eventuality. Um, a possible event or... Look! Eventuality. A possible event or outcome. Do be, pre be prepared for all eventualities. So that's no quite the wording. Mike, <laughs> your house may burn down. So yeah. Assurance is purely against an eventuality. Nice. Mike, one day... That's purely against any eventuality, which could be said about um, insurance then. Do you know what I mean? No, 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 no. Eventual, no, 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 no. When he said like that, he didn't say an eventuality like that. His main point was that's for things that might happen, whereas this is for any eventuality. Dot, dot, dot. Like, for example. We're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, that happens to me every week here. <laughs> Now listen, did you, think, you think you're pretty good at t your job at selling insurance? I think that didn't get a big laugh because, see, dying uh, in terms of comedy and performing, I don't think that was fully in the public consciousness. So I think some people were like, what does he mean dying? Because remember who was in the audience? It seems like old folk weren't still wearing their fucking coats. <laughs> Well, that's, that's my manager. <laughs> well, I tell you what, if you could sell Eugene insurance, then I'd say you were pretty good at it. Now then, what else would What was Eugene's story? Well, I tell you what, your job at selling insurance? Well, that's, that's my manager. <laughs> well, I tell you what, if you could sell Eugene insurance, then I'd say you were pretty good at it. Um... Because he's Polish? Is it something to do with being Polish? What's, um... What... What does, what does Eugene do again? He said he does something. Oh, he does a... I've got a 10 second memory cam, that's right. Was it only 10 seconds ago I was watching Eugene explain what his job was? Was it only 10 seconds ago, Cam, because it looks like you've got a problem with your memory? Please ban. Fucking... <laughs> Adam Stevens and Glacier thinks the subs. Got back into the trucking recently with the wheel and everything. Watch your was are fucking brilliant. Aye, the wheel is better. It's just it's a bit impractical for me. But the wheel is better. The Morangatan thinks a sub. Any advice for getting over the fear of flying? Fuck knows. Fuck knows. I've never had a fear of flying. Um. No. Um. It's fairly safe. More, more chance of dying in a motor. Much more chance of dying in a motor. So that's nothing to do with it. If it's to do with claustrophobia or something like that, like, oh no, what if I want to get off? I know that I can get off. I don't know, just breathe or something. Just just, just take it as a nice wee, just, just sit in a seat. Can you sit in a seat doing nothing? Just sit there, get a book. Get a book, have a wee drink. The fear comes out a suicidal pilot. Fucking merit that on the road. You don't even need a suicidal fucking driver. Just, it happens. Crashes happen all the fucking time. Cunts going 70 mile an hour that way. Right next to people going 70 mile an hour that way. All it takes is one wee fucking lapse of concentration. And you're going, you're, 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 you're fucked. It feels unnatural. Fucking, you're watching me on a, this is unnatural. 
Fair point, nice one. No, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Well, it happens now and again. Spookington, thanks for the sub. Twelve months of me not doing any work. Fucking yes. Eleven months ago, and it'll be your twelfth after it. No, you'd be absolutely fucking fine. Just enjoy your book. Get 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 some get some stuff on your phone. Put some stuff. Download stuff. You can download YouTube stuff on your phone. I think. Do all that. Plenty of stuff. Make sure you have an external battery thing to keep the battery gone. Now then, what? Keep it charged up. I tell you what, if you could sell Eugene insurance, then I'd say you were pretty good at it. <laughs> now then, what else? We, Veronica, what do you do for a living? What do you do? Exactly? I'm a receptionist for an architectural design practice. And now this interests me here. Actually, you've got a pretty unusual hobby. What do you do? I used to wander around old graveyards. <laughs> Lovely hobby. <laughs> what? That's kind of. It's kind of nothing. It's kind of nothing. What, what did you find attractive um, about that? What, what epitaphs on... Epitaphs, all, actual yeah, words on yeah, the tombs yeah. and things. My favourite actually was, um, I can't remember if it was in Morecambe Bay in Haitian. There was a, an old, very old gravestone in the shape of a pig's head. And on this stone it said, to my husband, a pig he was in life and a pig he shall be in death. <laughs> <laughs> and a very happy Christmas, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll still be there. The shape of a pig's head. And my favourite actually was, um, I can't remember if it was in Morecambe Bay in Haitian. There was a, an old. Uh, maybe. Morecambe. Is that how you spell it? Morecambe Bay. Uh, graveyard. Pig's head. Parents find pig's head in girl's grave. Right, okay, okay. Let's not bother with that. Oh, okay. Old, very old gravestone. In Morecambe Bay, in Haitian. It's a funny old world, isn't it? Funny old world. I tell you, there's nothing like us humans, eh? No, no way anywhere in this whole universe. Nobody does it like us. Nobody does it like us. Keaton thinks the sub. How are you getting away with watching 70s telly for a job? Absolute chance I'll stay at these mugs subbing as well. Thank you very much, Keaton, for the 27 month sub. But Dr. Spookington, thanks again. Wait a minute, I need to get. Wait. My favourite actually was. Um, I can't remember if it was in Morecambe Bay in Haitian. What was that? Did she say. Morecambe in them or or she says she can't remember here listen in in Haitian right I'll do right what graveyard uh Morecambe right he how do you spell it? he he I've just just done some graves of Haitian. That's something different. The rock cut graves at Haitian. About the tenth century. Hold on. What's this? Is this something else? Oh, this is something else. This is so that's something else. Um. Hold on. What can be Haitian graveyard pig's head? Right, I've got to search for that. Morecambe Bay Graveyard Pig's Head No that No that I'm not seeing it I'm not seeing it uh, Pig's Head Grave UK Pig he was in life Just, just no no I don't know maybe some other time maybe some other time 
We'll really look into it. There was a, an old, very old gravestone in the shape of a pig's head. And on this stone it said, to my husband, a pig he was in life and a pig he shall be in death. <laughs> 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 No, sorry, I need to do one more search. Uh, graveyard. Uh, epitaph. Epitaph. I'm going to put it in quotes. It's risky because it might not be exactly that. Pig, he was in life. This is a book. No, this is graveyards for. This is graves for fucking pigs. Hmm. <laughs> and a very happy Christmas, everybody. <laughs> but there's one consolation about visiting graveyards. At least everybody's in. <laughs> Can we have the questions, please, Annie? Thank you. Right, you have an eighty. They did a oh, bad. up on your plane for £10 for each correct answer. Bad. Good luck, here's your question. We want the everyday names for trees found in the countryside of this country. Now, we'll give you an example, you, but you must not use you, right? So, everyday names for trees found in the countryside of this country. That's, that is far easier. Uh, I don't know, fucking Weeping Willow, uh, Oak, Ash, uh, Pine, you know, uh, tons, cedar. So you say it. Spruce, birch, chestnut. I like elm tree. You fucking go on and on and on. And they've got to do different types of clocks. Um, digital, analog. Um, twenty-four hour. Um. One of the ones that's it's just got the 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 kind of the hands of the clock, but no the numbers. You know, it's just so it looks kind of arty. It might, it might just have like the number three or something. One of the ones. Plastic. Sundial. And um, egg the sand thing, egg thing. The one in the the the, uh, the was the voz. Well, Hoy Mock thinks a sub. Thank you very much. One year. Real Gonzo thinks the bits. Does that mean we'll have to get you a grave in the shape of a ball bag? You're sounding a wee bit like David Coverdale there. Does that mean we'll have to get you one a grave in the shape of a ball bag? Well, I don't have a pig, do I? Wes Falcon thinks the sub. Does this mean I have to have my legs in the air all night? Ah, oh, more fucking flowers. All right, Lindsay, question for you. All right, Lindsay, question for you. Now. Oak. Larch. Oak. Um. False chestnuts. Oak. <laughs> fucking jo- What? I got it. Fucking Jesus Christ. Up. Now. Oak. Large. Um. Pulse chestnuts. Oak. Um. He's found in the countryside of this country. Now. Oak. Oak. Large. Um. Elm. Pulse chestnuts. Oak. Oak. Fuck. Fucking hell. It was right there. Oak, elm, and oh, how is she not going like that? Oh fuck! You know how is she not going like that? Oh, mm, mm. let's see how she reacts after it. You know she will. Oh, maybe she's like that. Maybe like, you know the way I sometimes. Um, did that? Did that? Did that say oak? I did that just say oak. Right there. I, I honestly don't remember doing that. Have you ever, have you ever walked about the house? Have you ever been in the company of somebody else? You start whistling some tune, and they're like, "What are you doing? Get your end tune." Like what? 
they were just whistling that you didn't even know. And you whistle it. I did I did it quite a bit. Or it happens and then I realise, oh I, you know, I think I'm just doing it by myself. Palomar is a real tough guy. Got a real tough guy. Got a job cutting down trees. On the first day, he cut down 250 trees. The foreman said, that's magnificent, he said. Tell me, is the motor getting worn out on the thing? He said, motor? I didn't know there was a motor on it. Motor on it? Tell me, is cut down two Palomar is a real tough guy. Got a job cutting down trees on the first day, he cut down 250 trees. The foreman said, that's magnificent, he said. Tell me, is the motor getting worn out on the thing? He said, motor? I didn't know there was a motor on it. He did it, I don't think he described. Oak. I got a pal of mine, he's a real tough guy. He got a job cutting down trees on the first day, he cut down 250 trees. The foreman said, that's magnificent, he said. Tell me, is the motor getting worn out on the thing? He said, motor? I didn't know there was a motor on it. <laughs> what the, no, the, say it's a fucking chainsaw. You got to say it's a chainsaw. I don't know if there's a, a motor on it. There might not be. It might be the other guy that's fucking wrong. Well, Richard and Veronica, I'm afraid there was a repeat. You started with oak and you said oak, fifth one in. You could have said a few more like ash, beech, birch, cedar, holly, fir. How'd they score, Annie? Richard and Veronica answered four, so they have 40 pounds. Well, you've got 40. Still a long way to go, yeah. How is she sitting there? You know, without her heating her hands, like, uh, <laughs> you know, kind of laughing, go like, I can't even, I know, you know, to speak to him, go like, unbelievable, I can't even. Oak, elm, oak. It's just like that, like. That's it. Ban uh, ban Bradman's up, please. Jacko, thanks for three quid. Read fucking domestic fucking violence jokes, please ban anybody that's saying that. Thanks. Jacko, thanks for three quid. I really pissed you off yesterday and it's been playing on my mind. I want to apologise and I'll be taking some time away to work on myself. Thank you very much, Jacko. I have been thinking about it. I have been thinking about it. I have not slept a fucking wink. St. Bill thinks the sub. Retro tele streams are the best. I'm not getting any work done at all. Okay, glad you like it. It's fucking dreadful. Dreadful stuff. Fat Pud Pud thinks the sub. Now here we've got Paul and Wendy, and you're from Twickenham, Surrey, right? Mm -hmm. Lovely Wendy, part of the now, world. Paul, well, I know what you do, and I, <laughs> I dare you, dare you to tell the audience. I promise I'll give you protection. What do you do? I'm an income tax officer. <laughs> oh, fucking hate paying tax. Fuck. I'll give you protection. What do you do? I'm an income tax officer. <laughs> Fuck people, man. You see, they really are in the Christmas spirit here today, aren't they? I'll have well, look, names. Paul, when did you come over here from Transylvania? <laughs> Midday. I, I won't tell you. Midday. Did he? Oh, shit, he's actually genuinely like. <laughs> uh, I don't. Uh, did he say midday? <laughs> I won't tell you how much tax I paid last year, but I think I must have bought the RAF a Concorde. <laughs> For, uh, humble brag much? Humble brag much? Now, when tax... <laughs> no, I would have said. Paul, when did you come over here from... And I, <laughs> I dare, you, dare you to tell the audience. I promise I'll give you protection. What do you do? I'm an income tax officer. <laughs> Uh, what I do, everybody, sorry, I'm a terrible person. What I do is try and ensure 
that the money that we all earn, a portion of that is put back into you know the, the country to pay for all the sorts of things that we need paid for. For example, uh, the NHS, roads, I don't know, you know, all sorts uh, weapons in case the Nazis kick off again because it only happened 34 years ago. It only happened 34 years ago. Um, the coal mines, because they weren't shut yet. Things. I'm in charge of making sure that that money goes back into, say, benefits so that people, when they fall in hard times, don't die. So sorry. If that makes me the bad guy, happy to be the bad guy. Happy to be the bad Sorry, I'm not as good as you people. You would rather people starve. So sorry. So sorry. I'll give you protection. What do you do? I'm an income tax officer. <laughs> I would go like that. Stop right there. You, madam. You right there, madam. State pension, yes. State pension. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to take that pension off you and we're going to give that back to everybody who's paid tax. Okay? So you get nothing. You see, they really are in the Christmas spirit here today, aren't they? Well, look, Paul, when did you come over here from Transylvania? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fight back, man. Fucking fight back. Atomic Punk thinks it's up. Oh, Mr. a year of this shit. I'm getting fuck all work done and loving it. Yes! Bought my thanks to the bits. I bought my wife to see her... Brought my wife to see your veins live and the other person myself. She didn't find them funny. Well, now she's in bed with COVID. So can you wish her to get well soon? Emma, get well soon despite, you know, finding it funny. Maybe it's not really meant to be found funny, the veins. It's meant to just be an experience of sorts. That's all. Clawhammer thinks it's up. Three whole years of shit. Thank you very much for the 36 fucking months. And it thinks to the bits... This is broadcast telly back in the day, only three channels. Only three channels, and this is Christmas fucking day. <laughs> I won't tell you how much tax I paid last year, but I think I must have bought the RAF a Concord. <laughs> now, Wendy Warren, what was your name, Wendy, before you became... Big Manor. Burrows. Burrows? Yeah. Oh, sh Wendy I missed Warren, that, sorry. What was your name, Wendy, before you, be you got married? Burrows. Burrows? Yeah. Burrows and Warren, the real bunny girl, right? <laughs> And I've, he says here that you, you have an A-level in cooking. O-level. O-level? Quite that good. Oh, not quite. Well, I've got an I-level in grilling. Eh? <laughs> what sort of cooking do you like to do? Um, oh. Oh, not quite. Well, I've got an I-level in grilling. Eh? <laughs> O-level. O-level? Quite that good. Oh, not quite. Well, I've got an I-level in grilling. Eh? <laughs> what sort of cooking do you like? Oh, you just talk about her laughing. <laughs> oh, an I-level in grilling. Right. Here. That's where the grill used to be. See, see that, see the oven we've got. The grill is, I don't know. The oven's a wee bit low down. The grill still used to be up a bit kind of high. And then you've got the grill still used to sort of be up a bit kind of high, or still are, depending on what you've got. I can't fucking remember that. It was all up high. You had this wee kind of handle, and you. It's almost up at what you um nowadays would be some sort of fucking I don't know, um air uh, what do you call it? You know, extractor fan type of thing, one of these sort of things with a light or whatever. Oh fuck that's right. Um, Italian, we like. Yes. Uh, cannelloni. Well, lasagna. Tinfoil, no. <laughs> Say that again. I love it too. I must say, I'm very into Italian food. All right, let's have your questions, please. Thanks very much, Annie. Okay, you've got an 80 and a 40. Can I? Can I catch up on? You're 1979. Well, I'm actually really into Italian food. 
Aye. It's rich cream. Have you tried that? Have you tried Italian food? It's, it's fucking nice, by the way. It, honestly. I love it too. I must say, I'm very into Italian food. All right, let's have your questions, please. Has anybody tried Italian food? Anybody here ever tried Italian food? A pizza? Thanks very much, Annie. Okay, you've got an 80 and a 40 to try and catch up on. You're going for £10 for each correct answer and a good luck. We want I'd be sitting there raging if I was that tax cunt. I'd be sitting there fucking raging. But I'm sorry, Ted. Cut. Can we cut or whatever? I'm sorry. Do, do we all know why we've got tax? Do we know why? Do, do, do you think it just gets taken and just, sh like, fucking dumped in the sea? Do you think it just gets taken off you because you're being greedy? Geez that. Give me that fucking money. You shouldn't have that. Do you think it just goes in some fat cat's fucking pocket? Do you think it goes to me? Do you think it goes to me? Well, what actually a portion it does. I want you to give us the ingredients which are put into the traditional Christmas pudding. Now, we'll give you an example, currants, but you must not use currants, so ingredients of a traditional Christmas pudding. No. no, these questions are inconsistent. The first one was type of clock, types of fucking clocks. The trees one, what, what wait a minute, they're limited to the ingredients that go in a traditional Christmas pudding. You've got, there's a limit there. That's like, what, eight, eight ingredients maybe? Sugar, flour, I don't even know what goes in it, but it's probably about, like, I raisins. You're going to get, like, eight maximum. You kind of just keep going to, like, oh, 20 fucking great with, with, with trees. With trees, you'd be able to just list about fucking 30. UK trees. Flour. Butter. Rum. Cherries. Whiskey. Don't fuck it up, tax man. Brown sugar. Lemon rind. Treacle. <laughs> oh, it doesn't go out! Eh, need treacle. Well, what's her accent then? Lemon rind. What's that? That's like, like London or something. of a traditional Christmas... Right, that's the way she says flower. Now. Flower. Flower. That's kind of... Is that lamb beef? Butter. Ingredients of a traditional Christmas pudding. Now. Flour. Butter. Rum. Cherries. Whiskey. Brown sugar. Lemon rind. Yeah, Yara. Is it green chill? Oi! Where's my lemon rind? You better do my own homework. Lemon rind. No. Lemon rind. Rind. Tree. Brown sugar. Lemon rind. Treacle. Oh, it doesn't go out! Great. We had a lovely Christmas dinner today. Oh, we had a magnificent Christmas dinner. We had a seven-course Christmas dinner, aye. A piece of six-layer cake and a cup of tea. <laughs> well, Paul and Wendy, there was a mistake there. Our adjudicator, Deborah Sutherland, says that uh, you wouldn't find treacle in a traditional Christmas pudding. A few more you could have had, like milk, eggs, raisins, sultanas. How did they score, Annie? They scored seven correctly, mm. so they have 70 pounds. You have a 70 yeah. pounds. So many fucking quid, no bad. Um, if 80 quid's about 360, 70, what, 320 maybe? No bad. No bad. Now that's a set, look at that. Eh? Look at that. Eh? There you go. 
And they kind of look like crosses them. I don't know if it's like that all the time, but it look like crosses. Christmas and everything. Because, um... Because uh, of Jesus. Behind my schmutz and gold frappuccino. Thanks for the subs. Thank you very much. Can we flood up us? Thanks for the sub. Thank you for the uplifting streams. I remember going through the Christmas radio times to work out what I was going to watch over Christmas. I we got like the, the evening times. The evening times, the uh, Glasgow sort of uh, paper. And you get like a big seven fucking, seven day sort of thing. Or it'd be like the 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. I think it would be tell, it would be like for about a, like a week. For the first round, what have we got? We've got Veronica and Richard here on £40. We've got Paul and Wendy on £70. But in the lead at the moment, Angie and Eugene on £80. He's still got their flary trousers and... £70, and but in the lead at the... A f like a week to go, pretty much until the 80s. They were right out, they went right out. Now, wait a minute, they were still going kind of flary a bit. It's not like everybody turned fucking new romantic overnight, right? At the moment, Angie and Eugene on £80. <laughs> she is fucking delighted. She can't believe it. Look. She's like, fuck. Is this actually fucking happening? He fucking quit. For the what? He fucking quit. I the I the lip bite. Eighty quid lip bite. <laughs> Angie and Eugene going for eighty pounds for each correct answer this time. Thank you, Annie. And of course, this is the more difficult round, as it is. This is going. Does this get? Is this going to get taken off? Is this is going to get taken off? Is it? Did we lose it? No, that's that. Oh, I don't give a fuck. G Campbell thinks they're bits. What's your favourite seventies Bowie song? Ugh. Ugh. Um. I don't like any seventies Bowie stuff. Okay. Golden years and uh No. I don't like your 70s stuff. Don't like it. Sound and vision, possibly. Sound and vision, possibly. Uh green uh green gob shape thinks are bits. If you're one of the contestants and Ted made a joke about a hairline, what would you retort with? If I was just a normal, like I'm not there in my professional sense, I am on celebrity, celebrity, three, two, one. But just there as uh, like that guy there. I'd, I'd be like that. <laughs> Well, thanks a bit. I just sent that Get Wilson well clip to Emma. She's texting me to say she did like your veins and that I'm a liar. No, she did. She said like, not found them funny. That's all. That's all. That's all. Funny, not funny is fine. It's the same with Lemmy Show. There's plenty of stuff that's meant to be funny. You're meant to laugh. But there's other stuff that's not really meant to be funny so much. It's just meant to be entertaining in some sort of way or it's just something to watch. Might be a bit of a story. Quinn thinks the sub. Cherry thinks the sub. Been a nice old turn up to James O'Brien this morning by Ricky Pop. Thank you very much. Your leggy. What's that? I only know about John Wayne's big leggy by Hazy Fantasy. Difficult round, of course, we do give you one to start with this time. The only difference is here, we do like you still to answer alternately, uh -huh. except that I will ask you the question individually, and if you don't know an answer, just say don't know, and I'll go on to your partner with the next question. And believe me, in more, more cases, it's best if you don't know to say don't know to get on with it, because you can really build up this score. Two ways they can be stopped this time, if they make a mistake or if they run out of time. So for £80 for each correct answer, this question is... A so what the fuck is a fucking multiplier? See the 80 quid they just got? No, it multiplies with every new answer. Or with every correct answer. Multiplier. 
about yes yes pieces of clothing which have a special name to denote their use and style now we'll give you the first word and we want you to tell us the piece of clothing it refers to now there is an opera cloak so that's the one we'll start with an opera cloak uh, I hope none of the other questions are like that. So actually get you get one to begin with. An opera cloak. Two deer stalker. Uh, three Durndal. Don't know. Four Liberty. Bodice. Five Norfolk. Don't know. Six Oxford. Don't know. Seven Mob. Cap. Eight Riding. Whip. <laughs> fucking wearing a fucking whip. A whip isn't a piece of clothing. That could be anything though. Uh, riding trousers. A uh, riding hat. Riding boots. There's the thing. I love pantomimes, you know. Have you heard about the Irish? How about the Irish Humpty Dumpty? A wall fell on them. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he's Irish, he can, he can tell the jokes, it's fine. An Irish Humpty Dumpty, so instead of him falling off the wall, the wall fell on uh, him, because it's all upside down and <laughs> back to front and everything. <laughs> Whereas well, the English, the British, get to everything just right. Just right. Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. Here in Britain. Mr. Normal takes the sub. Glad you're enjoying it. Thank you very much. Well, Eugene and Angie, I'm afraid there was a mistake there. You said riding whip. Well, of course, we wanted an article of clothing like breeches or boots, etc. There was a couple you didn't know. Durndal, of course, is skirt, Norfolk jacket, and Oxford trousers or Oxford bag. Right, but... So how did they score, Annie? Well, Angie and Eugene scored four, so they have £320. £320. She cannot... That's, not bad, huh? That's pretty good. She knows the fucking value of money here. I mean, fucking eye rolling and everything, man. 320 quid in 1979. That's one and a half grand, pretty much. That's one and a half grand. That's it, you're walking out of there with one and a half grand. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's pretty good. Can we have right, a listen. round, please, for Richard and Veronica, who are playing for £40 for each correct answer this time? I see them Good fuck luck. this up. This question is about personalities in show business and the countries they come from. Now, you know what we could do? We could skip this bit, right? And we could go on to, you know, the bit where somebody gets knocked out and get on to the quiz, the, you know, the right, little bit, or stick with it. No skipping, I. If they are from the United Kingdom, we would like you to tell us which part they come from. Now, Moira Anderson is from Scotland, so that's the one we'll start with. Moira Anderson is from... Scotland. Uh, wait a minute. Two. Who are these people? This question is about personalities in show business. And Moira Anderson? Who's that? Who's that? Uh, who's that? Moira Anderson. Who's that? Or else, there's Benny Hill taking a piss. Moira Anderson must have been some sort of singer type of thing. In the countries they come from. If they are from the United Kingdom, we would like you to tell us which part they come from. Right. Now, Moira Anderson is from Scotland, so that's the one we'll start with. Moira Anderson is from... Scotland. Two, Abba. Sweden. <laughs> Three, Demis Roussos. Greece. Don't Shit! Cyprus? Four, Bob Marley. Jamaica? Don't know. Five, Elkie Brooks. 
Is United States of America? Don't know. Six, Rolf Harris. Australia. Australia. Seven, Val Dunigan. Ireland? Republic of? Eight, Charles Aznavour. Fuck knows. Nine, John Denver. Uh, United Ten, States? Edmund Hockridge. USA. Yogurt <laughs> in the morning, sugar in the evening. Because I'm a big, uh, I'm a big star in Ireland, you know, me. Oh, yeah. I was over there last week. I did a television show over in Dublin. It was called Looking Back. It started at 8 o'clock and finished at half past 7. I don't know if you know, but see, in Ireland, they, they like a drink and, and everything's sort of like in reverse and things like that. What was that? That, that Humpty Dumpty one was particularly fucking shite. I would really like some anti scot I, I want some jokes at the expense of Scottish folk. They're my favourite. Richard and Veronica, there was a mistake. You said Edmund Hockridge came from the United States. He, in fact, comes from Canada. The ones you didn't know, <laughs> Demis Roussos come, comes from Greece. Yes, Greece. now you know. Bob Marley, of course, Bob Marley and the Whalers, come from Jamaica. Elkie Brooks comes from this country, just outside Manchester. Does she? Uh, what else have we got? Val Doonigan, you amaze me there. He comes from Ireland. Do you not know that now? Of course you do. And John... Sorry? Irish descent, my mum will kill me. <laughs> mum will kill you. Irish descent, I'm oh, sure she, she will, but she'll forgive you maybe. For but how come you're like that? I know your mum's going to kill you, but how come you're one like that when you said oak twice? Oak, then elm, then oak? It's not like you said oak, elm, ash, uh, pine, uh, you know, all these ones, and then when you're on the eighth one, have I said oak? It was like the one before the last one. John Denver, that was a stab in the dark, maybe. Aspen, Colorado, we think he comes from. You were right there. So how'd they score then, Annie? They scored five, so they have 200 pounds. 200. 200 quid, no bad. Very good. Thanks very much, Annie. The second round for Paul and Wendy, going for 70 pounds for each correct answer, holding themselves very tight. I've got a feeling about them. I've got a feeling about them. I've got a feeling that even though they're starting to be multiples of 70, I've got a feeling they're going to do better than the first lot. Your question... By the way, see, after this, I think the lowest are out. They're out the door, I think. TW thinks the sub. Mr Normal thinks the sub. Uh, thanks again. Content, thanks for the content. ...is about characters which appear in Christmas shows. Now, we'll right. give you the name of the character... We want you to give us the show he or she traditionally appears in. Now, the Mad Hatter appears in Alice in Wonderland, uh -huh. so that's the one we'll start you with. The Mad Hatter in... Alice in Wonderland. Two. Oh, listen up. That's a fucking accent. That's what I like to hear. Long Jones in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Is that just like somewhere in London, like kind of East, East End London? Essex? I don't think so. I don't think so. They're from Surrey. Is she no just in Surrey though? Like if I moved to Surrey. I'm actually for Glasgow. So that's the one we'll start you with. The Mad Hatter in... Alice in Wonderland. Two, Long John Silver. Treasure Island. Three, Captain Hook. Peter Pan. Four, Alice Fitzwarren. No idea. Five, Man Friday. Don't know. Six, Widow Twanky. Don't know. <laughs> Seven, Daisy the Cow. Don't know. Eight, Buttons. Cinderella. Nine, The Tin Man. Don't know. Ten, Grumpy. Snow White and Seven Wolves. <laughs> there we go. Are you ready for this? Eh, uh, what? Here, what? 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 That's a question. Grumpy. Snow White and Seven Wolves. <laughs> What well, is? Is? There's two seconds to go. There's two seconds to go. There we go. Are you ready for this? <laughs> the only little... It lights up! Look, he's knitted that. 
Why is it all so? Oh, it lights up. All we need now is, is it... <laughs> What do you think this is? The David Frost program? It's because it's snow, it's frost. A of weeks over that There's a guy called David Frost. Now then, Paul and Wendy, a few you didn't know there. We had uh, Alistair Swat Fitzwarren is in Dick Whittington, Man Friday, Robinson Crusoe, Widow Twanky as Aladdin, Daisy the Cow is Jack and the Beanstalk, and the Tin Man, of course, the Wizard of Oz. So, Anne, how'd they score? Wendy and Paul also answered five, so they have £350. That's fucking good. So Widow Twanky? Christmas Day, Who is Widow Twanky? In Aladdin, is that only the, like the panto version? Is there any kind of where does Widow Twanky appear in Aladdin? Panto dame only. I know, but you know, just just walks about is just there. Will be like in the dungeon. Will be where he lives, will be in the palace, just fucking appears like. Widow Twanky? Samaris and Laura Kettle, thanks for subs. They tell them when you read this, but whatever you do, that's a really good point. Thank you very much, thanks. I read it immediately and I know exactly what point you're talking about. Monica and Richard on two hundred pounds. Oh, on Eugene there, they're on three hundred and twenty. But the winners of the quiz, I fucking told you, Wendy and Paul, I told you, three hundred and fifty pounds. There you fucking go, Monica and Richard. We do have to say a little goodbye to you. We hope you stick around in the studio and enjoy the rest of the day with us. Fuck we're that. Great. Well, look, there you are. There. Well, just to see what I, what I could have won, and oh, no, we'll take on money and just walk. Do you want to go like that? Oh, look, they're getting even more money. Oh, look, they're getting even more money. Oh, look, they've won a fucking war. Here's no, your no. ceramic dusty bin. Thank you. There you are. Thank you very much indeed for coming along anyway. Good luck with the assurance and all that. <laughs> Bye-bye, Veronica. Take it. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Enjoy your, your £200. Maybe get yourself a nice oak table. Maybe two oak tables. <laughs> Can imagine you buying yourself an oak table and then right after it, buying yourself the same oak table because you've got a bit of a memory problem when it comes to oak. Haven't you? Bye. Hang around in the studio to watch what the other contestants get because they're better. They'll be getting mailed stuff than you got because they're better than you and doing this sort of thing. Bye. Right, folks, we'll be back after the break on 3, 2, 1. We'll see you then. Don't go far away, will it? I'm just going to see that again there, Ted, sorry. That's a four. That's four fingers, uh-huh. So four... Uh, what's that? Sorry, what's... Right, so, let's go back. So that's four. Possibly two fingers up there. That's possibly a two. And then a one. Uh, so we've got a kind of casual... Neither that. See, it's got to go like that. Right, you can't just go like that. You can't just have your horn like that. You can't just do that. Right, it's got to be the thing. So I would say that's a full disqualification, complete. Come on, we'll see you then. Don't go far away, will it? <laughs> but here we are. What is that anyway? What is that? Is that a? Is it? Is a Scrooge there? Is that? Is that a Miss Scrooge? This might be the ghost of Christmas something. It's got one eye. One eye. Maxie thinks the sub. Enjoy your 24 badge when it fucking comes. And you're on, Ted. And you're on. Ladies and gentlemen of our 321 Christmas special where our remaining couples from Norfolk and from East Twickenham are about to play the elimination game. Now, the theme of our Christmas show, of course, is Dickens, and our game is a Christmas pudding game. As you can see, each of our couples has a cauldron full of Christmas puddings. They also have a pair of tongs, two poles, tongs, a boss. funnel, and a chute. Now, on the first whistle, we want you to pick up the poles. That's one at each end, OK? Ladies, take the tongs. Not sorry, I have a wee bit of trouble... Uh, 
keeping up with instructions and things like that first time, could you say it three times? In fact, could you write it down so that I can read it in my, my own way? Or I will walk off this programme and fuck the whole thing up. You know, fucking up, we'll just say the other lot one, we'll just refilm it. Two poles, right. a funnel and a chute. Now, on the first whistle, we want you to pick up the poles. That's one at each end, OK? Right. Ladies, take the tongs, pick up one of the puddings, put them on the poles, and you roll them towards the funnel. As they get over the funnel, you open the poles, they'll drop down into the chute. Uh -huh. Repeat that as many times as you can. On the second whistle, you change places with your partner, which means, right. fellas, you take the tongs and pick up the puddings, put them on the poles, get them down into the chute. The right. whistle stop, and, of course, the couple with most puddings in the right. chute goes through to part three, where all the big prizes are waiting for you. All right. Our booby Dusty, he's here today. Don't forget about him. All right. Well, I'm actually a wee bit clumsy, and uh, this is the sort of program I thought this was going to be. Um, I'm not my kind of, you know, general knowledge or things like that. This is something different, and I don't want to do this. Right, so pick up the two poles. Um, I thought they said that I'd be like, are we then? Well, I'll have to hold the poles. And then you put the things up. No, no, he said that we have to do one at each end. No, no, one person does the one at each end, the other person does it. I'm sure he said we have to... Get to your positions, please. And, of course, it's a very good luck to you. Right, so... Karen is here with a whistle. Right, so... Are you all set? Right, three, two, one. Oh. Right, so they've got to hold up. Right. See, no, but that's no fucking work. Look. Are they... Is she having to hold the two of them together? By the way, what's on the horns there? What's on the horns? One. What's that? She wants some sort of glove. The tongs... Oh, no, 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 on, the, on the, uh, her left. Her left. What's that? Like a kind of a bandage or... What is that? What is that? Just a, is that just the light? No, she's got something. Oh, she's got a thing. She's got a, a something. Oh shit! Oh, oh, listen, listen. Right here we go. Aaron is here with a whistle. Hey, hey! Oh, John! There's something that. Listen, something that starts. Oh, John! Are you all set? Right, three, two, one. Good game. Hey! Come on! Is that just the one person? Okay, change places with your partners. Come on, fellas, you come. It just sounds like the one person. For the tops. Get them on the pole. Try to get everybody, you know what, everybody else stood up. <laughs> come on, Andy! <laughs> What's that not? <laughs> come on, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Good football. Hold it there. Hold it there. Okay. Would you like to come here? That's fucking steamy. Come down here. Well, I've got news. You did pretty well there. I must be fair. I don't know how the score went, but Murray, how did your couple score? My couple scored 14. 14 did they go? Okay, Patsy, how did your couple score? Wendy and Paul scored 12. 12. Oh. I bet you any fucking That's what I like. Everyone says money. I see. Wendy and Paul scored 12. 12. Right, right. Is there any way to check that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Possibly. I would be looking. I would be looking. Hey, help, mate, mate. That's shake. Like. Shake, mate. Come on. Come on, mate. Hey, come on, shake. Come on, you won. Right, Nanny. Don't. Nanny to be a sole winner. Come on, you won. Shake my hand. 
Shake. Be friendly. Oh, 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 oh. That's what I like. Shake. Everyone's Shake. supporting on this show. That's very nice of you to do that, even when they lose. Well, I'll tell you what that means, Angie. I would be looking at the whatever the fuck Christmas puts. I'd be looking down. I'd be. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm pretty sure one of them rolled in and then bounced out. Oh, if it's out, if you've dropped it, it doesn't count. No, 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 it went in. But then it came, it went down with such speed, it then bounced out. Um, I don't know, you'd have to speak to the thingy, but have a great, have a great day. Have a, have a great, I hope you've enjoyed your day. I, I, I want to continue to enjoy my day because we won. We won. Eugene, you're going through to part three where all the big prizes are waiting for you. We do have to say goodbye to Paul and Wendy, but here's the money you won in the quiz. How much was it, Karen? 350 pounds. 350 is not bad, is it? Not bad. Again, you love the photo frame and the photograph is already in the post. Ladies and gentlemen, Wendy and Paul from East Twickenham. Thanks a lot, Paul. The photograph is already in the post. Yes. That's a lie. Oh, wait. Wendy and Paul from East Twickenham. Thanks a lot. And the photograph is already in the post. Ladies and gentlemen, Wendy and Paul... Right, so maybe they got the 40 taken earlier. No here, you're not 40 just there, but got it taken earlier. It will not, it will not already be in, uh, in the post. This is 1979, see if you wanted a 40 developed. Even if it's done by this lot in here. I'd say at least a day. At least a day. Usually fucking three days. When I was a teenager, in my early 20s. In fact, I got fucking... I got 40s. Early, early 20s. Fucking early 20s. I remember taking a camera to fucking Homeland in the late 90s. Taking a fucking uh, camera to, to Homelands. Was it Homelands or the second Homelands I went to? The second one, fucking... Two th two th uh, 2000. 2000! Taking a fucking camera, you know, getting the, the, the spools, whatever the fuck they were called. Um, you know, just sort of like, you know, taking pictures uh, over at, you know, a dance festival. Um, uh, you had to then go to Boots or whatever, get them to your, your spool and uh, come back like the next day or in a few days for your 40s. With some cunt you don't know looking through all your pictures. There were the days. Dames thinks of the sub. Arthur Conte and Meowie. Bedtime Pesto thinks of subs and bits. Regarding Wendy's accent, Paul and Wendy come from Witten, just that say they're twicking him. Paul was my dad's best mate, and I think he actually my godfather. But really? You, seriously? Passed away in a sadly too. So you, you're having me on, surely. You're saying this guy here. You think he might be your godfather? You're fucking at it. Do you know what? Fuck it. I believe you. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? What have I got to lose? Clan. And Maxie thinks again, thinks the subs. What have I got to lose? Fuck it, I believe you. Paul from East Twickenham, thanks a lot, Paul. Good luck. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. That's all. Is that right in the lips? Is that right in the lips? That's slap bang right in the fucking lips. Thank you. That's all. Well, there we go. What a, look, what a lucky woman. Me this week. All right, then, would you like to stand just here, Angie? And Eugene, could you like... To... Sort of a fucking light in it, would you? That's it. Get in nice and tight there so we can get some nice pictures of you. Good luck to you, the theme of... <laughs> get in nice and tight so we can get some nice pictures of you. I can hell like it's a, a, like a fucking Alton Towers or something. Like a ride. There you go. Do you want your, do you want your pictures? You're interested? No, no, we're not interested, thanks. Like fucking Edinburgh Dungeon pictures? No, no, we won't. Give it to, uh, to you for £3? No, no. So being Dickens, we're going to look at some of his greatest works and characters. Characters like the mean Scrooge, who went round with a collecting tin marked RSPCA.
the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. That was respect. Scrooge's plight, cash accepted. <laughs> now, in Martin. Oh, all oh, right. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, I did uh, uh, tether an injustice there. He hadn't finished his joke. He went round with a look at some of his greatest works and characters. Characters like the mean Scrooge, who went round with a collecting tin marked RSPCA. <laughs> that was respect. Scrooge's plight, cash accepted. <laughs> now, in Martin. Respect, Scrooge's plate, cash accepted. We're about a stumble. Because, listen, listen. Look, this is all I had to get recorded as live. Right, they didn't have the time to go. Uh, just do that again there, Ted. That was respect, Scrooge's plight, cash accepted. <laughs> Now, in Martin Chuzzlewick, Dickens tells of Sarah Gamp, the friend... Ted, we're going to let you go. What? It's your stumbling out the words. When? You went like that. Respect Scrooge's plight, but... That was... I was... I didn't fucking stumble out the words. That was... I was laughing. I was laughing. It's forced. It's a kind of... Uh, it's a kind of... You know, thing you do, you you, you laugh because the joke's that funny. Play it back. Accepted. <laughs> that was respect. Scrooge's plight, cash accepted. I see. I was laughing. You laughed at the end, Ted, but you didn't laugh when you're saying it. That was a that was a stumble. It wasn't. He? I went respect Sc Scrooge's plight. <laughs> cash accepted. <laughs> I meant like that. Davy, tell him. Davy, what do you think? And it's Ted and this Davy guy have been out like drinking, like talking about the, the boss behind his back. And Ted's like that. Davy, back is up here, mate. Tell him, ain't that a laugh, mate? You know. You know the way I laugh when I sometimes tell these stories and we talk about things when we go to the pub? Like, you know, remember two nights ago? Or the funny stuff we were talking about? I mean, I could describe that stuff to the boss, if you like, to, to clear, clear, you know, demonstrate what I'm talking about. Oh, I, I, Ted does that. Ted laughs. All right, well, all right, and Okay, well, just, Ted, if you, I know, I get what you're doing, but, right, I, I do apologise. But don't do the laugh thing. Now the that boss will be like that. Scrooge's plight, cash accepted. It's not a laugh, man, something's not right here. That was respect. Scrooge's plight, cash accepted. That's no a laugh. <laughs> Watching it privately. Can I just get in the edit suite here by myself? Aye. How was that a rewind? That there, you turn that kind of shuttle thing there. Shuttle. Right, what's that? Right, all right. That was respect. Scrooge's plight, cash accepted. Davy. Davy, come in here just now. Davy, I've watched this again. He is not laughing. Why did you say he was laughing? His, I'm going to ask you straight. This is just my, my senses are just picking this up. Has John got something on you? What? Why did you lie for him? Has he got some dirt on you or something? Have you been talking about me? Because no, he, he told me that you've been saying stuff about me. He did? Aye. Well, he's been saying stuff. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. Thank you. PCA. That was respect. Scrooge's plight, cash accepted. <laughs> now in my You see, this is what because he paused on RSPCA and you think, oh, <laughs> uh, what is it? Like he's collecting for RSPCA when he's not a charity collector, like he's kind of charity fraud. Martin Chuzzlewick, Dickens tells of Sarah Gamp, the friendly old midwife who attended many great expectations. <laughs> In our first sketch, we encounter the villainous great expectations. Chuzzlewick, Dickens tells of Sarah Gamp, the friendly old midwife who attended many great expectations. What? 
Is it no expecting a baby? Is it just a kind of play on words? Midwife expecting attended many. <laughs> but he kind of looked as if, <laughs> don't tell the wounds what that one means. <clears throat> Family telly. <laughs> we encounter the villainous Bill Sykes out on his nightly rounds. Now, just in case you don't know, by the way, Good evening, Mr. Sykes, isn't it? Just in case you don't know. Six again, I see. Oh, so you get this kind of thing. Been doing the spot and mountaineering practice, have you? Mountaineering? Oh, very good, officer. And I'm then... <laughs> Just what are you up to at three o'clock in the morning? Yeah, I'm, I suppose you're wondering what I was doing here. Do you insist on watching this? Wait, this this bit, the, this bit here. Yes, yes, I had given it a pass. This would be straightforward acting. Like special training we get. This is the comedy. So I blame you, I suppose. If I was in your position, I'd think the same. What would it's you mostly do yes. That ladder, Sykes. What ladder? That ladder. <laughs> oh, that ladder. So, so that's what it is. So this happens. Cleaning the windows. And then I think. Bird's nesting. Is that Terry for Terry and June? W would you believe playing Santa Claus? <laughs> uh, I suppose you're also wondering why I'm dressed like this. So then, my mind. they finish yeah, that wee bit, with an inquiry they mind. finish that wee bit, yeah, well, uh, <coughs> I've, and then just been to a the actor, dress. one of them, goes <laughs> out of the contestants with a part. thing at the house on the that corner, form the as, as part of a clue, and, like this. and it you tells a wee kind of cryptic and sort of clue. And I don't believe you. <laughs> and I don't blame you. We watch this for entertainment Open purposes. But also, you might be asked a question. Oh, you have been telling me little about what you've just seen. All right, all right. And it gives you a clue. It's a fair cop, you caught me. But obviously is this sent to be like Dusty Bin, which is like the fuck all prize? Christmas time. Suppose not. Or is this the motor? You've got to reject. Please, pretty please. I don't know about that. Pretty, pretty please. All right, look, I tell you what I'll do. You go back up that ladder. I'll tell you, see the next one. I don't think we're going to get this fucking finished today, but it's not a game I'm talking about. You gave me quite a fright from it. I thought you was going to nick me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Why not? Well, I knew you hadn't been to that fancy dress party. Ow. Well, that's where I've just been. Aha. Look at that, look at him, look! That's the contestants who got knocked out. They're having to watch. They're having to watch. <laughs> right, so here comes Terry for Terry and June. Okay, lovely to see you. Thank you, Terry, for being with us this day. Now, what's the clue? It's not a bomb bomb, is it? No, no, no. You know, you, you've got to pull me cracker. Pull oh, me I cracker. see the clue you've... is inside the cracker. Yes. Oh, come on. Oh. oh, hello. There it is. It is a mini swag bag. Mini swag bag is, is the clue. Swag a jag. Oh. Not the rhyme, Terry. Not the rhyme. <clears throat> Sykes got caught, but not by a copper. Then he told him quite a whopper. Nearly arrested, which made him nervous. But the peeler must be in the secret service. Now then, Eugene. The what? Nervous, but the peeler must be in the secret service. The the the, the what in the secret service? Fucking peanut. The penis. And then Eugene, energy, any idea? No, a, be a big breath, that means no idea. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, can we say a big thank you to Terry Scott? Thanks, Terry. Have a good Thank you very much. So, a clue. Some sort of clue. Something, something to do, do with cooking or something peeler. Something to do with cooking. Oh. Peeler. Yeah, peeler. Peeler? Well, we Bobby. give you more Bobby. than a peeler. Copper. Well, Copper. I mean, it is Christmas, you know what I mean. Now, this time of year, we're always, always being asked to think about our feathered friends. Something and a group of school children not only thought about them, but they also decided Something to sing about them. So here are the Ramblers oh, with their song, The Sparrow. Peeler? Yeah, we put me on a peeler. Shut up. What? Fucking Christmas? Right. Right. Right, so, one of them. So, Lisa, here we are, we've 
we have Eugene and Angie here. They're Everybody, I've got 20 minutes left. Tonight, Let's see if we can get this done 20 minutes. So we've got to pull that, right? Let's give it a pull and see what's in store. Jerry Casey thinks the sub. Yeah, Kayla Binks thinks the sub. It's neatly parceled up as well. Ah, it's an English dictionary. It's a small dictionary. Thanks, Kylo. Okay, that's the clue. Now then, Lisa, have you got a rhyme as well? Finky and Pearl Ninja thinks the subs. Fox got data thinks the sub. Jessup spiking the data. Jessup's, that's right. Telfair picks out a uh, plastic light saber up his arse sitting on warning stickers. He Best content Baldy Bezos can buy. Speaking of film developing, my mate worked in Jessup's back in the day and printed an entire film of pics a guy had handed in of a plastic lightsaber up his arse. They had to put those warning stickers over every image where his hole was visible. Really? Ego tripping and Brandy. Thanks to subs. What warning stickers? Like, please, you can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. Take a letter to Santa. We don't think that he'll say nine. But if he does, don't blame us. Christmas can still turn out fine. OK, Eugene. No idea? I think it could be a holiday. Huh? A holiday? Well, you're thinking about it, which is always nice to see. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa and the... Well, you're thinking about it, which is nice to see. Oh, So remember, they're trying, there's different prizes and you're trying to get rid... Like one of these prizes is the booby prize. It's a uh, dusty bin. It's fuck all. all right, but we've got a, a dictionary there. We're going to continue... A dictionary. ...in chapter and drop in on the Micawber family at work. Micawber? Do you fancy another sandwich, Mr Micawber? Sounds a bit Scottish. Thank you, Mrs Micawber. I am not over-enamoured with the no. rules. Right, so not other... Mere acting. I thought you liked... Right. Expected to steal. Mere acting. Oh. Oh. Is that cunt? Oh, I see. Oh, stand up. There you go. It's gonna Campbell. Yes. Is he Scottish? Lovely. Come on, Michelle. And Bill Maynard. Now, what is going to be the clue? It's in there, we know. Yeah. We've got to give it a bit of a tug, Carmel, have we? No, he's not. Oh. You're so strong. I know. <laughs> well, you know, it has been said, William. <laughs> <laughs> Many times. <darling. laughs> but who put it about? Now, listen. <laughs> oh, it's a wishbone, huh? Now then. Wishbone is the clue. And what is the rhyme? Wishbone. She'll be a laugh. She'll be pissing herself at an audience. At Christmas, home's the place to be. Let's go there, you and I. We'll have a turkey or an N. You'll get there if you try it. There you go, just to confuse everybody. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Carmel McSharry. One of these hints at Dusty Bin. Bill Maynard, thanks, Carmel. Take care. You end there. Let's go there, you Christmas. When is the clue? And what is the is it? At Christmas, home's the place to be. Let's go there, you and I. We'll have a turkey or an N. You'll get there if you try it. There you go, just to confuse everybody. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've been. I've been there's like the home of Bye. of rubbish and food that you don't want. Okay, you just heard that from Carl. The place to be. Like to read you to oh, read. be. Mini swag bag again. Or you and I. Brought in by Lisa of the Ram. Oh, I. Which one would you like to hear? That's right. A buoy. Okay, okay, from Terry. Yes, Terry Scott said Sykes got caught, but not by a copper. Then he told him quite a whopper. Nearly arrested, which made him nervous, but the peeler must be in the secret service. Well, I'll take this one, you take the next. I'll get rid of the dictionary. You really want to get rid of, rid of the dictionary? Yeah. Eugene, you. keeping your fingers crossed and yeah. going along with it? Yeah, we'll go for the dictionary. Are you sure? Yeah. OK, then, right, you're going to re reject the dictionary, which was brought in by Lisa of the Rambler. She said, take a letter to Santa. We don't think that he'll say nine. But if he does, don't blame us. Christmas can still turn out fine. But no, no. You're rejecting that. They're rejecting that. They're saying that. I think that's maybe like. Uh, so. But let's say this. This is classic three, two, one. What you're about to see here. This is what three, two, one is known for. You're like, how? What? So if you think of that nigh, nigh is like this. It's that's like this, and this is like that. So if you think about it, that's like this, and this is like that, and so that is kind of. If you think about it, you've just rejected a fucking. A speedboat. 
nice new Christmas cards we have too for our Christmas show. It says, if you write a letter to Santa, you would ask for a gift. And though nine means no, there's also nine letters in Christmas. Now, the clue was a dictionary, which, of course, is full of letters. Uh -huh. And we have a prize for each letter. Just look at this. Oh, you cunt. How are they supposed to know that? Can we have a look at that? Angie, Eugene, just go over there. Stand there by Patsy. Would you stand just over there? And you can see what you've rejected here. Now, Why? Oh, God. Look what, I've, look what we've rejected. Now, I know you could say you're not trying to really guess what the prize is. You're trying to sort of work out what one's dusty bin. And then this would be a surprise. I mean, you're not going to work out... I think it's possibly a prize for each letter of the fucking word. The C was for a casserole, right? The H was for a hairdryer. The R for a record player. The I for an iron. The S for a sewing machine. The T for a tease maid. The M for a miniature TV. Just have a look at that there. An A for an amethyst pendant. And an S for a silver candlestick. Now, what about that for a prize? I'm sorry, what was that last one? Pendant, and an S for a uh, silver uh, what? Candlestick. TV, just have a look at that there. An A for an amethyst pendant. An amethyst pendant, right. And an S for a silver candlestick. Now, what about that? It's no a... arts to them. Rejected. Oh what a prize. Folks, we'll be back after the break with more fabulous prizes like that. Keep thinking about it. We'll see you soon. Three, two, one. <laughs> the break with more fabulous prizes like that. Keep thinking about it. Four? Four off a different angle. And then a one. So that's four, four, one. Wow. Okay. Or maybe because it's for this at the side, doesn't it count? So four, non applicable, one. Four, blank, one. That would crash the whole system. If you tried to put that into the database, it would crash the whole system. Kernel, Lyrical Back, since the subs. 750 days since the last 3 to 1 stream. Really? Fucking hell. No. Leafy Leaf, thanks for the sub. gentlemen of our Christmas show where Angie and Eugene from North Norwich in Norfolk in fact have just rejected you say Eugene? a terrific prize nine prizes in fact worth well over 1100 pounds we're continuing with our theme of he's just company. called Eugene this book one of them of course was Oliver Twist and here it is giving a very novel twist by the Crankies the fucking Crankies fucking yes Three more shoplifting days left to Christmas. Let's see what I got. Ooh, I got a lovely Rembrandt, a nice Goya, and a nice Canaletto. Well, they'll do for my. Christmas. Oh, it's him! I didn't even notice. All I need is some presents. Where's Oliver? Oliver! Dinner, Mr. Fagan. Fucking yes! Fucking yes! Hey! You're late. Where you been, boy? You should have been here ten minutes ago. Why? What happened? You kept me waiting. Where's your watch? Oh, somebody nicked it, Mr. Fagan. Nicked it? Oh, I'm really unlucky, me. Nobody loves me. When I was four years old, I ran away with a circus. What happened? The policeman made me take it back again. <laughs> Fucking yes! Have you got your Christmas presents? What are you going to give the Apple Dodger? Oh, I don't know yet. Last year, I gave him the measles. Measles? Yeah. But we boys, all us boys have got together and we tried to cross a turkey with a centipede. What'd you do that for, boy? So we could all have a leg. <laughs> didn't miss that. Anyway, uh, I mean, I missed that, Joe. I didn't get that. Give us any money for presents. D money, money, what you want? I, they're, they're married, married couple. I'm going to give you something else this year. I'm going to give you a check. What's a check? Um, what, what, what are they called again? Jeanette. Jeanette, uh, what's the name again? The surname is, um, it's like a word. Ian and Jeanette. Tough, I. What's a check, he said. How can I explain to the boy what a check is? I owe you five pounds. Do you? 
Now, say I owe you five pounds. I owe you five pounds. Now, don't say it, boy. You just told me to say it. No, when I say say, I don't mean say. I mean say, see? No, I don't say. <laughs> well, forget it then. Just forget the whole thing. Forget it. Hey, what about the five pounds you owe me? I haven't got five pounds. That's all right. I'll take a check. <laughs> it's a pity you didn't go to school. I did go to school, Mr Fagan. In fact, I'm the teacher's pet. I don't believe you. She keeps me in a cage at the back. Nah. <laughs> Always joking, that's all. You, all you do is joke, joke, joke. Mr Fagan, it's... Nothing's happening here. Shout at me. Anyway, I've got... You I'm skipping. Realize where I got. Nothing's happening. They're not being the crankies here. They're not truly being the crankies. We're not getting the true crankies. Ah, yeah. uh, we've got Ian and Jeanette. Correct. Another first today, you know. It's three, two and a half, isn't it? Yep. That's right. <laughs> anyway, the clue's in here, is it? Yeah. Jeanette, you're going to pull it? Everybody watching that? What? Uh, you what? Uh, what? Ah, who's got it? Ah, it's here. I don't think they were ever out of character in any other fucking programme. So it's Ian and Jeanette. No, it's... Should we fucking cranky? We, we, you what? Ah, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm Jeanette Tuff, and this is Ian Tuff. Mm -hmm. Think. It sounds pretty good. Ah, what nice. is it? Like a silver boy? Yes, indeed. Knives, forks, and toy knives, forks, and spoons. Now then, what could that mean? Let's find. Here, keys a wee second. Keys a wee second. I had this as a vine, but I don't think I'll have it anymore. Um, cranky's Hasselhoff. Um, shit, where is it? Bastard. David Hasselhoff was there in a panto in Glasgow with the Crankies about oh, 10 years ago or something. And out from the rhyme, perhaps that'll give us an idea. You could have this prize if you insist. We don't want to get in your way. But if you think it's a bit of a twist, what would Oliver say? Twist? You, you kind of... Well, we've got to think about that. Ladies and gentlemen... If something's twisted, you, you sort of put it in the bin. You go, oh, it's, it's twisted. Thanks a lot. Well, that's what it is. OK, there we are. Troy knife, forks and... Sometimes if you drop something in a bin, it can sort of twist in midair as it's fawned down, doesn't it? Or what, if, what about a kind of cheese twist? If somebody goes, oh, I've got you a cheese twist. Oh, I don't like them. I'm just going to stick it in the bin. So it could be that. There, you've got the wishbone that Karma McSharry and Bill, of course, brought in, Bill Maynard. Or Get rid of the fucking wishbone. You put bones and all that shit in the bin. I mean, what else would it fucking be? You're going to eat the prize as a, a, as a turkey? Or the mini swag bag from Terry Scott. Now, you can hear either of these two again. Which would you like to hear? Swag. <laughs> <laughs> Swag whisper. Yeah. Still at the What do you think? Um, Swag up, okay. Jagger, man. You hear the wishbone again? Right. Bill Maynard and Carmel McSherry said, At Christmas, home's the place to be. Let's go there, you and I. We'll have a turkey or an inn. You'll get there if you try. Your turn, darling. At home is the place to be. Some you said the place to be, be, bin. Place to be. Where, where would you find a bin? In the home. And the bee, the bin. Uh, she <laughs> Sorry, handled it, handed it straight over to you, Eugene. Eugene, you've got to reject one right here and now. Which one will it be? B and I and N. Where is the I and the N? I didn't hear that. And you and I will have a turkey or an N. You'll get there if you try. Turkey or an or an N. Uh, so you and I, right? So you and did he say turkey or an N? An N, the N. Reject. Your turn, darling. Uh, she <laughs> Sorry, Jack, Jack. Handled it, handed it straight over to you, Eugene. Eugene, you've got to reject one right here and now. Which one? Just reject it on the basis of the wishbone. No, you no, think no. so? That's the one I would have got rid of. You would have got rid of the swag bag? Yeah. Okay, you're going to reject Terry Scott's yeah. mini yeah. swag bag. The fuck okay. are you doing? Terry said Sykes got caught, but not by a copper. What the fuck are you doing? I mean, the wishbone, you kind of did that with a wishbone, you know, like, you get to make a wish, that kind of thing. Oh, the, uh. Then he told him quite a whopper. 
Nearly arrested, which made him nervous, but the peeler must be in the secret service. Now, what do you... Peeler, peeler secret service. You're going to get a whole, like, ten acres of totty fields. You're going to have a, a potato farm. You're rejecting this time, the mini swag bag. Sykes got caught, but not by a copper. Now, copper was the key phrase. Oh, was it? Was it now? Was it now? Now, if it wasn't copper, what do you think was in that swag bag? Um, 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 uh, other precious, uh, precious metals. Gold. Tin. Tea? Tin. 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 Well, no, it wasn't tin, it wasn't jewellery. In fact, you've rejected this magnificent set of silver cutlery. Now, just take a look at this. Uh. Then it's fucking closing in, by the way. I said, I've got a big strong man coming out. Now just take a look. That's my dad. That's my dad. Who? Well, I mean, that's my dad. That guy right here. That's my dad. Oh. It's also what? It's so bright. It's so bright. There's so much of it. I might go onto YouTube and say, "Oh, great to see my uncle Harvey." That's him that carries on the the, the silver uh, cutlery. Miss him. That's why. Look at that. Have you ever seen anything like that? That's really incredible. Now, when did you get married this year? Nine weeks ago. Nine weeks ago. You could have done with a few more spoons and forks and knives, couldn't you? <laughs> what a fabulous prize. Well over a thousand pounds, but unfortunately you have rejected Fucking it. So what? Eugene, to another Eugene, say, unfortunately it's got to go. Thanks, Annie. Well over a... a, a really... A, a, over a thousand pounds and 79 money. Four and a half fucking grand of cutlery. Yeah, fuck if it's silver. It's silver. I mean, what actually? It's fucking silver. Oh, it's silver. Oh, I wouldn't have noticed. Do you know what I mean? Stainless steel, silver. What's the what's the difference visually? Rejecting it. Take it away, please. Visually. Well, we only have one more sketch to go. We haven't got rid of the you-know-who yet. Is it like mere um, inert or something? Uh, less chance of reacting with something? Less chance of something? It's silver, it's shiny. Yes. Have we got a car on the show? Well, we're going to have our last sketch. Our last offering, in fact, features the much-tormented Scrooge, who, after seeing Marley's... We're coming up to the end, by the way. Gad, a ghost for a guest. I'm aghast. What a spiteful, spiky speech that spook spoke. I didn't expect a spectre. It wasn't even hinted that I've been hunted or haunted. He spoke with such passion, I'm ashen. I've had more than my share of apparition ration. Here is the seasonal a Christmas cat. Big round of applause for that. That was definitely dead. Have something. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Oh, it's him. Griffiths. It's the Daffy uh, step to and son. That's all Christmas is. Humbug. Oh, we're having a. And he's the jockey from Heidi High. <laughs> I don't even remember. Who's this? Yeah, hold on. The last. So don't there you are. But that's the last. So don't get that next year. Oh, I missed that. Oh, we're just gonna have to. Marley. We're just gonna have to live with it. Dead as a dog. I am the ghost of Christmas past. Skip forward. Fuck this. You come with me. You shall travel. Skip forward. You win. You mean you'll give everything to charity? Uh, you keep the money. I'll open the box. <laughs> oh, look, he's chasing the, the woman. Big, large, extra delicious things to the sub. Oh, yes. Hello, Ireland. Yes, I'm sorry for some of the stuff that's in this fucking program here. Solzy, thanks to the sub. I get it, Skip. I will indeed. After all those women, you dirty old man. <laughs> Now then, Wilfred, what about the clue? Shall we pull it and see what we've got it? Oh! In case you didn't know why he was calling my dirty old man, that was a thing that stepped and stepped to and son, his son would go like that to him all the time. Hey, dirty old man. Something like that. He's dead. Of course he's fucking dead. 79, the cunt looks a bit of a hunter. Gosh. You got it. You should say that again. Neatly wrapped up. What is the clue for you? Eugene and Angie? Oh, it's an angel. Yeah? And what about the rhyme, Wilfred? What does that say? In this carol, what was said to particular impecunious peasants 
work this out in your head and take away one of our presents. Hey, well, we've got to really start to think about it now. We have the last three on the table. Ladies and gentlemen, one, say a big thank you. One minute, one, to once again, please. Impecunious. What? Yes. So, so, oh, shit, what was that? To Impecunious. Yes. They're thinking. Wilfred Bramble. What? Now we have the last three on the table. Ladies and gentlemen, you say a big thank you to Impecunious. Yes. They're thinking. Wilfred Bramble. Seriously. Is he pushing his forces in? That's you. Thank you. Can you look in my dictionary? You want to see what impecunious is? Well, I... I, can, I, I, I <laughs> Impecunious. Well, now look, I can read, of course, the wishbone, which again, Carmel and Bill brought in. <laughs> is there a Aye, is that a bit art? The toy, knife, fork, and spoon from the Crankies. Jeanette and Ian, which one would you like to hear out of those two? Wishbone? I've heard that once before, haven't we? Cutlery. You'd like to hear the cutlery again? Right. Jeanette and Ian said, you can have this prize if you insist. We don't want to get in your way. But if you think it's a bit of a twist, what would Oliver say? So, uh, oh, um, uh, please, sir, can I have some more? Well, you put more rubbish in the bin, didn't you? Then a few to kind of like. Uh. If you had one bin and then you had two bins, that should got one bin more. So it's dusty bin. Get rid of the what fucking wishbone. We'll think? get rid of that, definitely. What? Okay, then, right. Fucking, they're insisting on losing. This prize, if you insist. We don't want to get in your way, but if you think it's a bit of a twist, what would Oliver say? So, what would Oliver say, bearing in mind we gave you a knife, fork and a spoon? Right, right, right. Right, nice fork and a spoon. Um, please, sir, can I have some more? What do you think Oliver Twist would say? Or what um, say? More food. That's right. I want more food, glorious food. Well, right. we didn't want to get in your word. In other words, we didn't want to hamper you, and that's what you've rejected. Hampered you. Fabulous Christmas hamper. Look at this. See that? We didn't want it. We didn't want to hamper you. I want more food, glorious food. Well, we didn't want to get in your word. We didn't want to get in you. So, so another word for that is hamper to hamper somebody. It's a hamper. In other words, we didn't want to hamper you, and that's what you've rejected. Christmas hamper. Fabulous Christmas hamper. Look at this. The mod's got hampers in, in, a, in a kind of 3 two, one sense. The mod's got food deliveries, the ones that applied. Oh, come and have a look. Come and have a look, Angie. Go around that side, Eugene, Angie, have a look. Look at everything in there. There's everything there. There's wine, there's the smoked salmon, there is chocolates, there's biscuits, there's pickled onions, you name it, it's there, but that's not all. In other words, there's nearly 900 pounds worth. There's a lot more back there, and oh. you've turned it down. What a feast you're going to have for Christmas. Oh it's got to go away, though, Jenny. So yep, she's getting nervous. Take it away. Let's get back to the table. Yep, she's getting nervous. Look at her. There's a lot more back there. Remember, she was very excited about the money and all that earlier. And you've turned it... Remember, they just they just nine weeks ago got married, probably moved into maybe a house, kind of, recently. They've not got cutlery yet, right? She's like, listen, we need this. We need that. We need that. She's like, listen, I'm thinking we're going three, two, one. We'll get this, get that, get this, get that. And she's seen it slip through her fucking fingers here. Down, what a feast you could have for Christmas. Oh it's got to go away though, Jenny. So, fellas, take it away. Let's get back to the table. Oh. Ah, she's tense there. See, she turned there. Fellas, take she's still it away. thinking about it. Look, look. The table. Oh, dear. She's like, kind of, you know, the whole... You know, why you, if you're thinking about something, you're just, you, your head turns with the whole body like that. Uh, uh, she's got a kind of uh, business mode whiter right now. She looks like she's actually working like a kind of manager. You know, there's a there isn't a, a contestant on her. Go away though, Jenny. So Look, let me see that. You see that there? Down. What a fish that. Have for Christmas. Uh, it's got to go away though, Jenny. So, yeah. fellas, take it away. All right, I'll let, I'll let you get on with that then. Um, how long do you think that will take to do it? Well, no, how long is a piece of string joint? How long? Two hours. Okay. Mary, can you come in? Can you take care of him? John, you come after that. Go do what you're doing it. We want need to get this done. Client comes in in three hours. I need this done. 
Peter. You know, like that. So, Jenny, so, fellas, take it away. Let's get back to oh, the table. Right. Have we gotten on with that? Okay. Uh, show me, just yeah. show me what they've got in there. It's really decision time here on Christmas Day, right? We've got two left, and of course I can read both of them again. She's Wilfred Brown aye. just bought this one in the She's feeling it. and said. This is new and unpleasant experience. In this carol, what was said to particular impecunious. This is it, peasants. two left. Work this out in your head and take away one of our presents. That, that was, doesn't mean anything to me. Doesn't mean anything at all. All right, let me read you the wishbone again. I can read you both of them. I'm sorry, but that doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, these are too hard. They're too hard. Too hard. Bill and Carmel said, at Christmas time, home's the place to be. Let's go there. B, B, B. You and I. I, I, I. B, I. We'll have a turkey or an inn. An N. <laughs> oh, 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 we'll oh, key or an N. An N. Click. Click. I'm sorry. What are you saying there? An N end? What's that you're saying there? You'll get there if you try. Yeah, wish, boom, wish. Could be. Shh, 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 shh. N N N The wish to get rid of the bin, it could be the wish for the car, it could be a wish for the star prize. You know, why don't you just pull the wishbone and whoever gets the longest half takes the decision, eh? Can't you? Yeah, go on. <laughs> go on. See Fuck off. Go on. You <laughs> I didn't put you up to that. You don't have to do that. It's entirely up to you. What one do you want to get rid of? No, that one. Are you sure about that? What about Eugene? Perhaps he doesn't want to do that. Oof. The angel. Right, the angel. Yes? Go on, then. OK, you're rejecting Wilfred Bramble's angel. What the fuck? She fucking... N, 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 did you say? N? N? End. You're holding a fucking bone. I know it's wishbone. Sure. Every, everybody's on. To, everybody's. On, everybody knows. About that. What about you? It's entirely up to you. What one do you want to get rid of? No, that one. You sure about that? What about Eugene? Perhaps he doesn't want to do that. The angel. The angel. All right, the angel. Yes. Go on then. Okay, you're rejecting Wilfred Bramble's angel. <laughs> in this carol, what was said to? Per Particular impecunious peasants, work this out in your head and take away one of our presents. So here we are. Take away one of our presents. How can that be the bin? How can that be the bin? It's work. Listen here. In this carol, what was said to particular impecunious peasants, work this out in your head and take away one of our presents. Now, take away one of our presents, one of our choices. What was said? Was the word bin said anywhere during that? The, the, the Scrooge bit, Christmas carol bit. So here we are. So what did the angel say to certain poor shepherds? He said, no O-L. Oh, no O-L. No O-L. No, oh, no, no, no O-L. That's right. No O-L. There is no O in the word bin. There is no L in the word bin. Right? So that means this is not, not the bin. What's Carol without O-L? You've car. rejected the star prize, the car! Fuck. Which leaves you what? with one thing. Let's see that moment again. No O-L. Well, what's Carol without O-L? You've car. rejected the star prize. Car. car. And he's that look, he's that with a bone look. He's that with a bone. Horn dropping down like that. Without OL, you've car. rejected the star prize, the car. Oh my God! Look at his face. Look at him. You've rejected the star prize. Bang. <laughs> and then that. Oh dear. And she's like, car. 
Yeah. Car. Hmm. Car. Star prize. Yeah. We've rejected the star prize. Leaving us with dusty bin. Mm hmm. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Well, what's Carol without OL? You've car. rejected the star prize, the car. Car. Oh. There it is. What did you say? Come and have a look, Angie. Come to the door and have a look. There it is. No, I'm not having a look. You've broken the wheel, you've broken the wheel, you've done everything you could. They tried to tell you, then they tried to tell you something else. But there you are, in the end, it was your decision. Yeah, Unfortunately, you have rejected it, and it has to go. We had a car on the show this week. It's got to go, so Karen, into reverse, back it goes. Let's get to the... It's got now. to go. Oh, dear. So. So. She's actually driving that motor! <laughs> She's actually... You're the fucking engine! She's actually driving that motor in the fucking studio! With exhaust fumes! And it has to go. We had a car on the show this week. It's got to go, so Karen, into reverse, back it goes. Let's get to the table, shall we? Oh, dear. Listen, that run, run! And this is, you can forget about any fucking catalytic converters and shit like that. This is full fucking lead. This is fucking full lead, man. This isn't just carbon monoxide, this is fucking lead the lot. So, so. Listen, listen, oh, run! To reverse it. That's that. <laughs> the wish bone was broken, and this is the one. That Christmas homes the. I was five at this point. This is where I grew up. This is my childhood. Place to be. <laughs> Let's go there, you and I. We'll have a turkey or an end. You'll get there if you try. Well, right. Bill said it. I've said it a few times tonight. Listen carefully and do some spelling. At Christmas time, home is the place to be. Let's go there, you and I. We'll have a turkey or an N. Put it together and that's it, you've won Dusty Vin. The second time this series he's gone. Uh, Come and have a look. Come and have a look. Well, there you go. He's gone a couple of weks ago, he got one, but there you are. Take his hat off, there's usually a little something inside. Ah, fabulous. yes, fabulous, she says. Angie, well, it's a, it's a stereo tape recorder, which oh, costs quite lovely. a few pennies. That's I so fuck. That. There's also the money that you... Is it stereo? Is it, it stereo? Is it a few pennies, I can tell you. Yes, fabulous, she says. Angie, well, it's a, it's a stereo tape recorder. Is it st I just see one speaker. I see one speaker. If you mean stereo tape... Like the tape has got a left and right channel thing on it. Fair enough. Order, which costs oh, quite lovely. a few pennies, I can tell you that. But it's deceptive. Also the money that you won in the quiz. That, where is that in here? Is it Angie? Annie? Oh yes, what was that? Oh dear. Angie? Annie? Ah. Alice? Arson? So the money that you won in the quiz. That, where is that in here? Is it Ivy? Annie? Oh, Andy? What was that? Annie? Ivy? How much was it? You won about 300 and what was it? 20. What's that again? A few pennies, I can tell you that. There's also the money that you won in the quiz. That, where is that in here? Is it Angie? Annie? Oh, Annie? Yes. What Angie? That? How much was it? Ali? You won about 300 and what was it? 320. 320 quid. That's there. And there you go. There's a furry dust. <laughs> to wish you a happy Christmas. All right. I'm sorry about Our that. Eyes. Eyes are fucking miles apart. That's not what Dusty Bin looks like. Christmas, all right. Look, the bin's right Sorry. fucking there. Look, there's the nose and there's the eyes right next to each other, right behind the, the, the top of the nose. Oh, there you go. There's a furry, dusty bin. <laughs> Who's that? Happy Christmas, all Thanks right. Very much. I'm sorry about that. That's the way it goes. Hard response, ladies and gentlemen. If, how can they not get that bin right? It's not like it's it's not like me making it. If I made it new. And I've no like watched three, two, one for thirty fucking years or something, forty fucking years, and I'm like, what did they look like again? What was it? He looked like it. So he had the two eyes. They're the cunts that fucking make it. How can you get? It, how can you get it so wrong? She's she look. She's just like, like how do I get it? Here, look, look. She's like, look. She's like looking about. She's doing nothing. You know when you bite the inside, your mouth just like. <sighs> yeah, oh well. So, how do we. How long have we got to hang about for? Remember, there's a wee after sort of thing. No, we're just going to head. We're just going to get a bus.
Happy happening on Christmas Day, didn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being with us today. We do hope you continue to have a good I bet they left that. See, see when they left? I bet they, they put the... If they drove there, they put the stereo in the motor. That bin, though, I bet they just left it. I bet they just left it outside. I bet they put the bin in a bin. Just leave it there. What, what should we do? Just leave it. We're not taking that ways. We're not taking that ways. No, it's nice. He's like, oh, it's nice if we do... Are you going to use it? Where are you going to put it? Do you want a wee reminder that we fucking lost? Ah, oh, right enough. Christmas. We look forward to seeing you in the new year on 321. Take care. Have a good... Do hope you continue to have a good Christmas. We look forward to seeing you in the new year. Right. Uh... That it looks like three, but I bet that other thing. The, see the pinky. Remember, he always puts the index, middle, and ring fingers um, completely up. So if you see the pinky up, that's four. That's four. What's that? One and a half, maybe. And that that that's way the one. That's at the same time as the one. No, that's nothing. That's a four. Uh, that's a four and a one and a half. That's all you get now. Four and a one and a half. Take care. Have a good time. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Sadness. That's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, don't fucking wobble it. Hey, I'm just going to take that away. We'll take this away. No, 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 we're still using that. We're using that for the credits. We're filming it. Look, just move this then. Just move it. No, no, don't leave it. Hey, we're going to bring that back in. We need to film that. Uh, again, because there was a wobble. Oh, it's away now. It's binned now. It's been binned. Well, you need to film it again. Can we pause it? Not flickers. If you pause it, it flickers. Um, we need to do it again because the text isn't centred as well. The text isn't centred. We've got a wobble with this, and the text here isn't centred. It's to the right. This is to the right a bit. Who, who cares? They'll have everybody be fucking wrecked. Is, is, when's this going? This is going at Christmas, actual. And what's this at the bottom? What's that? There's like a scratch or a stain. <laughs> so fucking shite. Oh, that's a different one. But it's the produced one that's got that. So these are different cards, one at a time. But look. Bang. These are printed on it. What a fucking mess. Fucking mess. That's the 80s. In fact, it's 79. What fuck am I talking about? Now that was the 80s. Now that was the 80s there. True 80s there. Hope you enjoyed that, everybody. I certainly did. Shall we do it again tomorrow? <laughs> Imagine watching the same one. <laughs> Imagine watching the same one every day until Christmas. Same fucking one. Again and again. Elite Snob thanks to sub. Hun Fiddle thanks to the, the bits. Glad you, glad you love it. Thank you very much. Canad and Gary the Gaming God thanks to subs. Any plans to celebrate England winning the World Cup? Yes, gonna go out and get... Have a wee drink. Oh, welcome round to my flat for a few brewskis if you fancy. No, no, I've, I've, I have been... I have watched the Jeffrey Dahmer thing yet. Uh, Sludge just thinks the sub. Men sign up Valentine's Day, little seal. Struzer thinks the subs. Thank you very much. 
Thank you very much. I love watching these shows. I imagine how fucking raging my dad would have been back in the day. You don't know. It smells of cabbage. You don't know. Back then, 79, that would have been like, oh, uh, I must be daft. I don't get any of this. It must be me. It must be me. Solzy, Glenjamin Duck, Big, Large, Extra Delicious. Thanks again. Thanks for subs. Costolo, thank you very much. Everybody, thank you very much for the subs, the resubs, the bits and the tips. Mods, th thank you very much for the mod and thanks for watching, everybody. I'll be back on the morrow. Where I think another, another Christmas special, if he's can cope with it. If he's can cope with it. I think we at least go this whole week with Christmas specials. At least go the whole week with Christmas specials. And then next week maybe something else, but I'm the right, right mood for a Christmas fucking special. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow morning at 9.30am for merry the fucking same. Bye for now.